okay. We're going to lie up here as well. I forgot to put a title in into the into the live the um, it's live now on fifteenth uh, of October two thousand and fifteen. We are going live with Andy and the other from the laptop to the uh, uh, desktop. How are you going on? All right? Can you get it? Okay. <coughs> anyway, I've got the laptop running. <coughs> it's it's pointing straight at you. <laughs> I've got two laptops going. Two two laptops going. <coughs> So I have to turn around to look at this one when I'm looking at the other one and the other laptop. I just finished um, updating. You got the latest one. It's only got a little bit of more writing on the end. The one that I sent you. The uh, okay, it's running. It's running now on Facebook on on the laptop. I was ready for it. I was I was ready for it. So do you want to schedule your uh, your live on Grace Time Yep, yeah, it's okay. it's it's how do you share it? I I've just gotta find out how to share it. Oh well you can get the instruction. You can share it on my side down as well if you want. Oh, okay. I don't know how to do that. I'll I'll just have a look. No, it's all right, Brian, I've got it. I'll just share it off your page. Oh, okay. okay. I don't know how I don't know how to share it on your timeline, so I'll just leave it running. Action required. I've got a, a, a I've got a thing icon that comes up all the time and blocks the view on the laptop. Um, your screen, right? I can't hear. Okay. Oh. So you sent me another, uh, yeah, I've sent you. A, a, it's only got. A, it's still got the three hundred and seventeen pages, but I've just added a bit more to Marika's um, case. Uh, I've just written something extra on it. Okay. I didn't have time to to read mark all all her uh, letter on important points, but um, but we'll we'll just get on with it and uh, and see how we progress with it. That's the first case coming up after Greg's going to have a little talk first. Got it. Okay. Let's go up here. Do you want to go? Do you want to go live um, uh, in a court hearing with what you're going to say, Gregory, or or just off the record? I'm not really fussed, Tom. Either way. Okay, we'll put it on, on, on the court record what you say then, when Andy kicks it off, uh, it, the, the court will start when you start talking, so long as nobody yeah, else is going to talk. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, okay. that's alright. So we've got a big, uh, so I've got the, uh, that's right, okay, so I'm good, I've got your page there, but I've got that uh, PDF download, it's just the new sample, so we look, you're, you're already measured today then. Yep.
We've got a big lineup tonight of five cases, so I've got a hell of a lot to go through because we've got no time for any more cases other than the council and the police at uh, Awaroa next Saturday, or even have a, a one earlier, a case earlier for that, so we can have two clear um, runs at the next two court hearings before the 28th. So those will be crucial, those ones. But we just need to get this one wrapped up with the videos to go in with the 317 pages before we send it off to uh, to uh, Ngāti Whātua and the trustees tomorrow. It'll be going. <coughs> okay. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, thank you Andy. Thanks for everyone being here and everybody listening and want to find out a bit more about the Native Magistrate Kingsland Court. And uh, so we're going to be uh, trying to whip through five cases which are uh, intensive. That's trustees of, of, of um, um, up in um, Awaroa or Helensville area. That's a big one, that one. So we've got to talk about that one tonight and also a backup on the police no response and the next week it'll be a third strike and you're out sort of court case where it goes against them when we rule on the 28th uh, all silent and that makes the law so we're making law and giving them plenty of time to come in on any of these two last court hearings from this one to state their uh, state their case or or we just take their silence as as um, agreeing that everything we're saying is true and so we can make 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 rulings of that and declarations for ownership of the flag and ownership of the native land title to seize back into the native people of New Zealand so this court is for mainly New Zealand natives born on the land the older ones are, are first in line to be born on the land still alive and the elders come first and then the young ones after that in that sequence of a native court. So I'm going to start off the, the open the court for business and um, with uh, uh, Gregory is going to uh, ask a few questions or say what he's got prepared and then uh, the response he's getting from the Whakameninga and um, other groups, the Maori government or any other groups wanting to know how we operate or what's this all about because it's brand new for anybody um, and their jurisdiction has always been in a Queen's Bench Court and we've had several um, Native Magistrate Court hearings in Te Te Marae, Waitangi Marae, Auckland and uh, around the country up north at Te Atua and also Waimana in the Pauriki and down the east coast, Gisborne when the Maori government was going with Sue Nicola we had meetings there with the incorporation which I was in, so I've ditched all that lot long ago because I knew it's 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 stuck, and it's still got settlements and and contracts uh, with the incorporations and uh, also with the iwi to settle out treaty claims and that contract. So we don't have claims of that nature in this court to be mixed up with the native and Maori, and I'll explain a little bit of that. Although we've had court hearings already. I'm just going back over them to make sure people understand the meaning of, of a native court in the beginning of where the, the, the New Zealand government's court, Maori Land Court, came out of. And so uh, um, we'll, we'll, we'll let Gregory have a uh, I'll talk now. Gregory, over to you, mate. Thank you, Thank you John. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Um, I'm not, I'm not, not one for going on too long, but it's really just to catch people up on my week as far as uh, court order to the Kingston 2 and um, a couple of um, interactions with identities, particularly the Rock of Nina. Uh, firstly, I'll start with the um, progress with court order. I think everything is going very, very 
very well. Now uh, it seems to be in a row. Um, <coughs> we've had a good response to feel from the local tech and support already, particularly the residents and business owners to date. They've been all very young, very willing, very approachable, um, very inquisitive, um, and interested as to the nature of their time, no, really, when it comes to Port Aurati, is that the Mikey Hill flag staff in the Coliseum and its history. So that, that's been quite um, uplifting just from a personal point of view that um, even though certain factions of Port Aurati, Cadets and the Hauraki Moai may have stood that negatively there before, there's a lot of people that do know me within the local faction. So I was speaking last week. Um, uh, it's Tiki Staff and I for one day this week we went around the East Coast area dropping off our, um, our, our invitation and gauging interest and once again um, I've yet to hear anything negative come back from the local people in fact it's the opposite uh, very keen to get in uh, participate in some, some manner our biggest issue we're probably um, facing at the moment is by being support location is um, disability access for some of our elders. Um, so we, we're just going to have to think a little laterally, um, Dion and Melvin. Uh, we do have a few um, elderly potentially turning up, so we may have to facilitate uh, a special resource for those folks. Um, uh, having uh, had interactions this week through Zoom um, with the Hawaki Manua. They were invited to Admiralty Bear meeting. Um, the Admiral never, never actually puts anything on. It has, by naval law, it has to be invited. So, um, Hawaki Manua invited myself um, along with uh, Andrew Dubai and Staff Sergeant Armata to um, sit in on a, an appointment with them. I think that was the 10th of the 10th, if my memory serves me right, uh, Monday of this week. Um, and they were quite inquisitive uh, as to... Hmm, I, I'm struggling for words at the moment because I'm a bit torn between their approach and their reaction after it, so I'm trying to be very diligent at the moment in how I say this. So it would appear they have run myself to inquire as to the Kings bench and how they could participate in Port Aurati for 2022, what they could bring as, I guess, mana or ikanga or uh, unification of the court at the Kings bench. Um, I think I was reasonably open, but I was very blunt and very direct as far as the request of what they could do for us, uh, which fell on. Um, sensitive ears as far as Jersey Joe goes. Um, I, I, I was quite, um, as I say, I was quite blunt and quite direct um, as to try and get a, a reaction as to some of the intel that's privy to the uh, King's Bench Council as such. I did, I'm trying to protect their privacy as well because I don't want to fall into the same regime as sort of being an accuser. So I'm being very um, diplomatic in my approach for the people that should be watching now and those watching later. So I know it's, I could easily slip into a, a bit of an aggressive point of finger thing, but just bear with me. I, I post the event of the um, Zoom with them. It finished off quite cordially, although we put a line in the sand as far as what we're prepared to negotiate or not which is very little, it comes down to simply the bottom line, um, native, not Māori, puppy, not eel, um, and pretty pretty basic bottom line as far as the content of the native legislation in King's Court. So it finished off um, amicably. Um, I think there was a couple of members within the caucus, let's say, that were very interested in and, and knowing more detail and being a bit more progressive as far as their position and the King's Bench Court. Um, <clears throat> but following hard on the heels of that, there was an international press release with Hawaki Manoa, one of those members who 
and Sydney. Um, I've never really met the uh, WrestleMania. I've, I've met show, uh, big shows in passing once, maybe a couple of years ago at the Sydney Apes and Y Company, where they invited me back to the Harvey Hall location, somewhere next to the um, War Room. Um, so I really didn't have a lot of interaction with them since then. Um, plus my hearing a little bit, I touched, we sort of rubbed shoulders quickly during Invention C in the early days, not really knowing a lot of her at the conference. But anyway, they went ahead with uh, Internet with a press release into the international FK arena of view, um, which was quite disappointing because it I get a sense from that interview, that international interview, they sort of, they pulled pieces from our Zoom meeting and they, they manipulated it for want of a better description. They molded it, they, um, they took our words and they slightly changed them to fit a narrative that, that speaks to what the meaning of what the meaning is solely. Which, to my mind, personally, I'll speak personally from that, was a bit deceitful and quite deceiving. Um, and, it, and it hasn't added, hasn't added anything to our um, sovereign debate across any identity. It really comes across as a hijacking of our language and our narrative of extreme strength to better their position, unfortunately. That's my personal overview of that experience this week, Andrew May wish to speak to his observation because there is an observer on our behalf along with uh, Tony Ramata. Um, but yeah, I, I think John needs to really speak to some of the contents of that video because there's a, a network that we're in at the moment. I'm getting a lot of internet of people who are after genuine. Um, the, the, the genuine history behind our ownership of the flag, where that detail comes from as whakapapa or its heritage. And I think what the media has done in all identities, whether it's extreme strength, what speaks under themselves, or whether it's any identity, they've really done a disservice to the whole narrative. So, um, again, it's just really what extreme strength is trying to do is ensure that people coming onto this path, particularly new people, people outside of our prior, let's say, has got to be very um, proactive in, in making sure that that, that history of the story we're telling is correct. And it is winning ears, it is putting people over to the conversation. So I think from here forward, as far as the extreme support goes, and any people reaching out to the Admiral, and anyone that tunes into this, they best come to you in your Zoom with good intent. Otherwise, it's getting caught out pretty quickly in the feed, which is what we're all about, is to, to align all these ideas together under a unified banner. And it seems to be working. What Sue Tony has also reached out to me as far as a um, in private at this stage, but there is intentions to have a public address between the Admiral. Uh, the Confederation Hospital Foundation, and which I would say very early to mid this week, as far as how we're unifying in that discussion, particularly in this area of Native versus Maori and Papua versus Maori. So I hope that this brings everyone up to speed. Maybe Andrew might want to speak to his uh, views of that meeting himself. Thank you all. Thank you, Greg. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you, Andy. Thank you, uh, Gregory. Oh uh, no, I haven't. No, I haven't. <coughs> I haven't heard from him yet, so I'm hoping to, and um, okay. and it yeah, would be good. Yeah, I'll try. I'll I'll try him tomorrow. I'll I'll try and get him direct tomorrow if I can, and uh, see if I can't can't raise him. But if if not, it's because they know, they know they don't want to hear the truth of what we're talking about. And that's all I can say, because um, he's he's he knows that flag is really powerful. Like I always said. It's the most powerful flag in the world, and it's in the wrong hands. And so that's why it's gone haywire as a war flag. They're using it to blast everybody out of the way. And just now, just recent, Jacinda's given it to Biden. And Biden knows that's a real federal government flag, federal government uh, republic flag, that he hasn't got any legal federal state government flag. It's just a made up one. It's not real. So now he's got the real one. He can go and blast the whole world with it, which they already knew from the start. The Rothschilds knew the flag was going to sit here and Maori won't do anything with it because they, they, they've they been controlled by the government that owns them everything Maori and they're going to switch the Maori off soon when they've settled Ngāpū out. They'll just turn it all off and you won't see any more Maori things anymore. That's what I... I always knew that. And uh, so... Uh, be good to talk to Stu, uh, Andy. Yeah. I just uh, I did put those points out that uh, the argument obviously I didn't uh, was not approved of the, the, the uh, comments that I put on there. So, yeah, so similarly, uh, for whatever reasons, we uh, were not aligned with the rest of the what we've got going on. Yeah. I think it's all right all around. Um, we can make contact through the official email lines as far as the inquiry to that content. But I wouldn't expect too much out of our stuff from and watching the algorithm and its, its advocacy. It's actually, it's actually who owns the flag. That's the big question. Who owns the flag and the country? That's where we're at at the moment for next week's court hearing. We're getting closer to it. If we're going to roll on it, Andrew, we start twisting. That's all I need to report. Yeah, but with the court, it's going to be local, so it's in us within the court and all that sort of thing. It's going to be yeah. pretty local. Okay, then, John, yeah, John, so John is it. That's all you're doing now. Yeah, my, my, my one is live, it's still going. That's okay. Yeah, I'll read off yours. I'll read off yours rather than read off mine. Um, the other laptop. So I've got two laptops going. And first of all, I just want to um, 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 run through a few things in my notes. I've got 21 A4 pages full of notes so that I can stick on the subject without veering off and, and don't miss anything important. Um, right through and try and get through it all in two and a half to three hours at, at the most. I don't want to go on too long because I'm squashing five cases into one um, one court hearing case and we're going to uh, we're going to start off with uh, Marika's uh, SIF's um, case. I won't read her letter out I'll just make comments on it but we'll make a ruling on it it's complicit the, the, the whole a lot of people have got photos of them. Anybody that that photos in a court hearing is is complicit with the fraud of uh, of Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth in the first place with the Rothschilds switching the whole admiralty around martial law to themselves so they can conquer countries and without anybody getting in the road. As I say, they will be using this flag all along, 
uh, to do that and, and create war with the flag and we take the flag off them on the 28th we stop or cease all use of the flag and that business the government is running in, in Wellington belongs to the native people of the land it's not their business it's ours and our government so we don't need them anymore running our government of the people and so we make a ruling and a declaration on 28th um, and proclamation to rid them and, and foreclose on the whole business and liquidate them out with the flag, with the flag, the power of the flag and we take ownership of the flag. It's British, the government here has cut themselves off from Britain in the, in the video with uh, the, the Governor General of New Zealand Secretary making statements that they do, do not swear to any monarch in England and cut them off. That was 10 years ago, cut them off. So they have absolutely no connection with that flag into Britain without a native court hearing or a native land title. No one has got a native land title or a long line of continuity of, of, uh, of um, documents to support flying that flag for whatever reason they're flying it. The Whakaputanga flag has got no legal in it. That's what Charles Hirschfeld, the lawyer, said to me, the Maori lawyer said to me, John, you're wasting your time. It's got no legal in the flag for your Maori government. So that's when I said, right, I'll make a, I'll make, I'll make a court that is going to answer our problem and separate from that. And it's just timed out that the, the, the whole monarch system is changing on its head and they've got uh, got the military in the EU Parliament ownership now so that's gone so we've got a backup of, of, uh, of Philippines and Spain uh, as a start point but I didn't have time to put in Fiji, Tonga and, um, well, and another country there um, um, in with the uh, with um, our allies as still being British under British rule so Philippines is under British rule and uh, Spain is our trust. Uh, the Queen of Spain, Queen Sophia, is the third and last trustee on our Queen Victoria Trust. That's the wealth of the whole world and the World Bank and all that gold and everything belongs to that trust, belongs to us, the beneficiaries still of that trust. And that's what our court hearings are with all these books. Um, one book is one affidavit one video is one affidavit. All of that is statements we're making live, lips moving, warm bodies and, and live flag contract. It's a live flag contract and us live people and not dead in their court system. That's the problem that the Whakamininga has. They're in a dead court, corpse court, talking over there in that contract and it's very hard very difficult for them to jump in the native court and bring all of that uh, debt stuff into a credit court because we don't have debts in this court. We only have credits and liquidation and foreclosure and, and pound notes and all of that stuff that we are supposed to be using with this flag and it's 20 legal instruments that nobody knows how to talk about that or seals. No one can talk about that and Worst of all, they can't talk Freemasons talk, which is what I talk, Freemasons talk. The certificates of title, the survey of the land, the cutting up of the blocks, the big blocks, into smaller blocks at Hillensville, Awaroa Native Magistrate Court. That's what they did. They cut the land blocks up in the council, and the Freemasons went in and surveyed the whole land and put it into the court, and then put it into the government and the bank to make money out of the certificate. So there, that's where I'm come from. So no one else can do this. It's impossible for anybody other than a Freemason and a, 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 a land, native land assessor or someone that knows how the system works to, to make something work on the Maori side because they have to go to a court. They have to go to the will court in The Hague to take their case, the Maori government. That's what I heard of that lady was talking to Stu Peters, that when they get all their claims together, they've got to go to an inferior court than a superior court here, without a dock and a bar, with a flag. That's what it's for. So they don't know that that flag has one of those instruments in it to do our court cases anywhere. 
to go by or, or the laws of what the Pope has destroyed all his corporations and trusts. So they're, they're, they're fodder, they're, they're game. They're game, they pick them off, and they're not immune from prosecution in any superior court and flag. So there, we're making the flag do the work for us for a change. So uh, that's enough said about that. I'm just going to go to page 302, Andy. That's Marita's case. We'll do that first so that we can get on with the big business um, uh, things afterwards. Three, 302. We'll start there and then I'll go back to the beginning because there's 21 pages to go through that I'll just pick them off and we'll go straight for the page and try and read as much as I can without taking too long. So just go to the beginning of that. Um, where does it start? It starts there. Um, go back to the beginning of the of the, um, the page before that. Just go back to the page before that. So here's our authority, the Moai, that's Queen Victoria, um, her 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 title to the world, the Moai, King William IV Trust. That's our trust against the Queen Victoria Trust and the Rothschilds running the trust. And this is our weapon, and the and the, the horse with with King William. On the horse, that's the great seal of Britain, UK, and his crown. And the eight-point star is St. Patrick. That's the symbol of Corporation uh, Act, Corporations Act. And we use the 1835 Corporations Act, but King William III started off the corporations uh, to uh, use St. Patrick Church as his symbol of picking up the rent on the land. So there, that started in, in, in Northern Ireland, and so that's the rope of the Admiralty there, and that's the real meaning of that flag. It's not for wakas. The king of Venezuela, king would never ever say, or oh, use that for your wakas, and, and make up your own minds on how you want to interpret it. That's, that's what I have problems with. I'm only real estate and land contracts and money that's made from these, um, all these instruments and all those seals we have on the document are all instruments for these documents to seal them tight. And this government hasn't got a real seal. They've only got a picture of a queen, dead queen, or, or a queen, and a married chief, which means nothing to anybody. It's their corporation seal that they believe in as a myth, uh, um, as far as I can see. It's got nothing connected to Britain at all. But that's why they want to steal our flag because they know it's got the power they've been using all this time. So all the wealth they've ever made belongs to us, and we seize the whole lot of that flag with this flag and put turn the flag on them, because it's not their flag. And we proved with uh, the Manukau history and the Rogan history and his whakapapa that that's what the flag was for in Helensville as a corporation. That's all it is. It's a corporation business. And that's all I treat it as. And it's blunt as hell, because if you don't know it, then you're not in business with it around the world. So the, so the government here has taken it around the world, and without anybody knowing what they were using it as a whakaputanga flag. When you see all the documents with whakaputanga stuck in the middle, but then you look at another snapshot of the Waitangi Tribunal, you'll see native, aboriginal, indigenous, on its own, a snapshot, and it's caught them out from Maori and Native, which one that the British wrote. The British wrote the Native one, not Maori one. They wrote the, 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 the Native as the title holders of the land, and not Maori. That was New Zealand's little crown that manufactured that, that Maori title and then duped everybody into following their narrative all the way through the years, 180 or so years, they've done that successfully until now. Right at the last minute, they said, oh, it's time to snap the flag and tell them we're going to use it. Well, we've been using it, but now we're going to tell you we've been using it all the time. You see, so there, we've snapped them in this court and with all the information um, to go with it. So in this next page, you'll see the lineup of our authority, where we get our authorities from, and where I get mine from, is that lineup of supreme superior kings, right from King Solomon, right through. 
But when it hit King William the Third, the second picture, that's when he made it corporate business with 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 with, with uh, uh, the banks and land titles and everything like that. And then King George came along, and then King King Ernest Augustus, the next one, King George the the fourth, is supposed to be his brother. King Ernest Augustus, after King William the fourth, is supposed to be that one. They switched it. They legislated her mouth. That just like New Zealand got legislation, no law. They are lawless people, but they use legislation. And and the British Parliament legislated King Ernest Augustus the first out. He was the king of of Britain, UK, Hanover, and they just took him out and put 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 uh, put um, uh, Queen Victoria in in his place. And so that that's where that came from 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 King William the. Third, King William the Fourth. Um, it should have been King Ernest Augustus the First. So that's where we're, we're sticking to this because it's unbroken admiralty. This is admiralty, admiralty all the way. The Queen and Prince Charles cannot do this with their monarch. They can't string it together where they got their authority from. It came from here. They've got nothing. And even Prince Philip, he had vice admiral. And a commander in chief, which is not a real navy officer anymore, that sort of thing. So that's that's that. Go on to the next page, Andy. <coughs> uh, so there's me. There's the chief, Sir Walter Pilfada here in Manukau, and uh, King George the Fourth contract at Awaroa, Native Magistrate Court, into Auckland, because he was he was um, in, in, instrumental in kicking off the first contract in 1823 with the flag contract in 1834. So those two um, contracts go together in this court with that flag. So they're, they're joined together. You can't break them. That's why it's extant. It's, it's institute law in Westminster that you can't drop that flag off. It's, it's up to the chiefs, the natives, to do that, not the government. They tried that with John Key to change the flag and make another flag. They were told, shut them out and get out of the way. You can't do that. And put another flag when there's already one there. This one. <coughs> okay, we've got Malika's case now um, um, uh, today um, on the record, and there's Marika Despina Christ Christensen versus the New Zealand government, Orana Tamariki, chef's staff and judge lawyer. So we've got her on 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 on, on a default contract tonight, um, um, uh, association with Jacinda Durham and. and uh, and uh, Cindy Kiro. <coughs> so the fraud, one fraud equals all the fraud. So, it's, um, so that's Judge Ida Malasi. Um, that's that's her. And then the next one, I'll just name them on the record so that I'm saying it out aloud. Val Mala, lawyer for Shifts, or I'm uh, supposed to be Tamariki, not Ramariki. Tamariki. Um, so that's her on trial tonight. <coughs> they get a trillion pounds on their head each in this court and that's the figure that I've always stuck with and their crown in Wellington pays the balance and uh, the crown in Britain pays the balance after that if they don't have any money in their account here it goes to the big crown um, under um, Philip uh, under under uh, Charles Prince Charles or King Charles <coughs> inherited the debts of uh, Queen Elizabeth II <coughs> then we've got Levin Mahe Topo, social worker. <coughs> so she's got a trillion on her head. I should have had a picture of the trillion pound note there. Then we've got Krista Muta, Mutav Zek, Mutav Zek, lawyer, OT. So she's on trial with a trillion pound on her head, default. Sam, they're, they're convicted and charged tonight. That's all we have to say. Everyone that comes in here, they stay silent from the silence of Jacinda Durham and Cindy Kiro, that these ones are going to follow the same pattern and so we just get the whole lot and Sam, Luke, New Zealand Police <coughs> we have the police again involved, we've already got other police in, in trials already Laura Berger, a lawyer OT um, <coughs> or Orana Tamariki that, so that's what that stands for Judge Margaret Rogers uh, it's good, I like their photos so you can see a likeness of them is the real living people lawyer Jane Freeman that we can charge we can't charge dead people like shifts it's a dead 
So those are the people that we're charging tonight. And this is the statement of claim, claimant to the court and uh, Marika's story. So I won't read it because it's such a long one. And we'll, we'll cut for time because we've got a lot of time to get through. But it basically says her family and kids were taken on the 2000, in 2016. They were 15, 7, 6, 5 and 18 months old. My eldest son is now 21 and lives in England. He is an adult now and we do not have a functional relationship. So this is hardship. This is a loss, harm and injury. <coughs> we stack up against those people we, we just named and photographed ID uh, as, as debtors to her case where she can, through the, through the court system here, be not so much compensated but um, paid paid for the loss, harm and injury. No, we don't talk about compensation. We just make writ warrants to claim against that and it goes into the pool of every New Zealander and it's portioned out to everybody in the same fashion. This is a precedent case that what we're doing to these people, these people are called pirates on the high seas operating their fraudulent business and we are not afraid to say anything about them um, because the whole thing is public um, and um, nothing hidden away <coughs> and not silent. We, we are not silent. This, this King's Bench Court is silent no more. The Queen's Bench Court made it silent. So we took the gag off and we are talking as much as we can about our system that works for us because that's a failure of the system against anybody of this sort of nature. Our story is not unique, but it will be shared for my peace and in the hope I will protect others from harm that has been caused to us there. Yeah. So this is her, her, her story um, and uh, of violence in the family, which, which is commonplace when there's job um, pressures on work and uh, loss of jobs and all of that. So we'll just skip through it a bit, my children from uh, my whole world. So she's missing children. There, that's another. I wanted to highlight all the red bits in here, but I ran out of time um, because of writing everything up for the court hearing to try and jam everything in. But it's on the record. It's on the record. It's, she's talking about her kids and and without them and being taken away f from her, and we want them back. We, and we want her to have her kids back from a ruling in this court tonight on the day of the uplift so she she's got working as well there yeah, i can see keep rolling a little bit andy she's working and keeping the family going and um and a man manager in a company that's a stressful job and then to go back and look after children which is very difficult to do i know my daughter was going through the same thing and um, i'll tell you about that at the end of what happened there wasn't able to work and um, police warrant from the police so the police have been on her back and so there's more pressure on a, on a, on a, on a solo m woman um, trying to do her best for her kids so there um, um, her kids um, are, are trying to communicate with her but being prevented from doing that so she loss of contact that's another one that's that I don't like those sort of things breaking up a family and um, and trying to let them get on with their life instead of giving the kids to to va vandalist people to look after she was not interviewed so her kids are going through a lot of hell and i can understand her um, being upset with them um, and trying to keep a job down and also the pressures of the court in and out of court the, the time it takes the petrol all, all the expense of, of feeding the kids and running a home and keeping keeping uh, court hearings um, um, and, and being there in the court to find the court rules against her. That's what I can see when I read it. I've, I've seen the courts constantly going against her and going and, and making rulings that um, she can't have her kids back and um, framing her for this and that. So there are a lot of a lot of what's going on with the social workers as well. That this is bad. So there, we can get these people and make them pay for their mistake, and then lock them up. That's that's all I've got for them. Lock them up because that's that's following gagging order. 
he's had a gag in there or five thousand. He lost a lot of money, and and against her for 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 things that she's living, trying to live, and the judge there um, saying things that um, that didn't help her matters very much when the judge turned it around um, with what she was trying to beg to them um, for for her kids back. To any date, she's in and out of court, <coughs> and uh, uh, so there's a lot of loss of uh, of um, 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 family. The loss of family betrayed by the lawyer. The lawyer betrayed her. There's another one that involved in past, and just keep rolling a little bit, and more letters going back and forth, lawyers, and all that representing her and saying different things. Jane Freeman, despite her submissions as a lawyer. Um, so uh, a, a little b a bit about the lawyers um, um, and the system, um, Manukau Court, um, Manukau Court. Um, so she, I can understand her frustration, and um, 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 and um, in dealing with the court and getting into trouble, and uh, which made things worse to get her children back. So so there, this, um, oh, oh, um, and. And she's got more cases on top of her. I want them thrown out. I want everything that she's been put through and appearing in court again and with, with, a, with a, a debt wa debt warrant on her head of money, um, a, an amount of money, a big amount of money that she's stuck with. And that's what we want to get her out of. Oh, just go back a bit, Andy. I want to read that bit just before here. This bit I wrote. That's what I wrote. Whoop. This, this is what I wrote. Prosecution and Native Court Judge Summary of Events of this case. This has been a case of court abuse of the judiciary system and as I know it having lost my daughter's three young children in a similar circumstance with Sif. When my daughter failed to turn up in court, the judge made a harsh ruling to give the partner full custody of the children and the baby girl was just three months old and I had the Paramount Chief Mohi Tanati Manukau at the hearing with a big crowd there uh, with us and they had a small crowd but we still lost a hearing with a native chief and they kicked me out of the court because I was telling them you, you can't do that sort of thing and the chief is here to, to, to put things right but they didn't listen to the chief and at the time and the government's not listening to Mohi Manukau and, um, at that time and even the treaty settlements they, they just didn't listen to him and me and, and all the work we put together in the court case. So we, we said, right, that court failed. We're going in our own court. And it took me a long time to put this court together so that we can have our own day in court. And this is it for you, Marita. This is your day in a real court that doesn't have all the fraudulent things in it. So here. They kicked me out of the court hearing. I will never forget that day. I will never forget when they kicked me out. Until this day, I haven't seen my Mokotunas, that's the little two, at all. So now we have our own court because that law, this lawless corporation and courthouse judge and government has failed us completely. So it's our own natives of New Zealand court jurisdiction of everyone is equal under God's law and King's Bench Court law that we now have jurisdiction and our King William IV flag sovereign authority to rule ourselves without corrupted foreign corporation government legislation. That's what they go on there. They got no laws and a defunct 1986 constitution sword instrument and no flag of a king or queen seal of an oath of their office they swear to no one. All these shift officers, shift, and all those people in the social system don't swear to no one, but a myth picture on the wall above the judge's head and parliament pretend government shall come to an end if they don't rebut our 24 video affidavits and 24 legal documents to date since June of native land title deeds, decree, rule, and law flag jurisdiction and constitution in flag and UK legislation today before the 25th of October 2022 shall become the legal legitimate law of the land owner of the King William IV flag contract and country. So there 
we've locked you in here, Marita, into this with a trillion pounds on those people's heads with me there and Jamie Patrick. She's the Patrick of the Patrick Acorn Star of Ireland. That's her family, the Patrick family. And that's why I picked her as being my secretary back then, but she's got a young family to look after. <coughs> and so is she still there on t when time comes, she can take up a position as a direct descendant of the Patrick Stewart of our uh, Stewart family of the uh, um, 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 what you call the police force in, in Scotland, Scotland, Scotland Yard. Um, that's the Stewart, Stewart family of her family in that over here in New Zealand. Court ruling. We made a ruling today, tonight, um, the ruling authority. The court finds these New Zealand foreign private corporation criminals, that's what I'm calling them and what we call them, as people of New Zealand, guilty, prosecuted, charged as an associate criminal under a defaulted contract government, Prime Minister Jacinda Jane Morrell Ardern and Governor General Sun Hua Asaran Hero, criminal organisation, and prosecuted, convicted, each of them one trillion Moai Crown Court pound note debtor instrument as a result of causing loss, harm and injury to her and the court orders the children's immediate return of the children to her forthwith with the assistance of the New Zealand Police, Military and New Zealand Armed Forces. Failing that, then the British Police and British Armed Forces. Failing that, British Armed Forces, as a last plan B resort to our sovereigns of New Zealand protection from pirates operating in New Zealand Parliament and government in Instructions and there were instructions of World Economic Forum, New World Order, NATO, America, terrorist criminal organisations. So there, Marita, that's that's my summary of this court hearing for you in your favour. That you will be um, um, you will be um, not compensated, but you will be given um, reprieve um, from your injuries when we take these people out with, um, with our uh, enforcement um, system that we've got to yet put in place. But there, that's you um, uh, sewn up with this hearing tonight and the Legislative Officer Confederation of Chief Children and Scientist Criminal. That's me just um, doing your court case for you. Um, so, uh, um, geez, the right fellow. Oh, this is the end signing of when you go up to um, Kororareka, Russell, to do that. So uh, um, that's that's all for you, uh, Marita and, and Kate Baker. Um, I, I hope uh, that soon, on the 28th of October, in front of everybody in the two courts there, in Okiako Naked Magistrate Court in Russell and the Awaroa Naked Magistrate Court in Killingsville, we can join them together and proclaim all of this country back into our ownership and our law and dissolve the government and parliament <coughs> and corrupt system and uh, we have the laws and everything against them there's enough of that uh, around you now this 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 flag is your protection with that black strip on it on the flag that's supposed to be to keep satan out and it's a protection from the military now the military's gone because You've got all the snakes in Parliament and Liz Truss, Prime Minister, that's that's really sold off the military to the EU Parliament, the World Economic Forum, and left Brit Britain helpless with no with no protection of themselves. But the uh, the um, uh, the um, um, army, the, the military will stay there. But hang on, I'll just see here. I'll just turn this off. I'll just turn this off. Turn this on again. Yeah. So there. That's that's um, that's. Um, you can rest a little easy for now, and I hope that um, um, you uh, your your court case against you with all those charges they're throwing at you, and possibly to put you in prison and all those sort of things. We can knock it out uh, with the native chiefs uh, signing these documents up at uh, Kororareka and, um, and, and so that's the end of this hearing 
for you tonight, um, Marika, and I hope you'll be happy with that. Family Court Swing, Oranga Tamariki, or six I involve having my children. So yeah, I'm I'm feel so sorry for you, and I want to get my my kids back so that I can have them visit me. I don't like it when I've got no kids around me, and I've, that's why I've got a, a Filipino family, young kids, a family to compensate for my loss and my or my my mukupunas. I don't have no muku, no mukupuna um, around me. So there, it's a solitary life um, that I lead. So, what else are you looking at there, uh, Andy? While you're looking there, you might see something else, and because you know people in Britain are going through similar things and if we can nail this one we can nail all the world uh, and their problems and knock it out and uh, that's what this power note is for is to, to dissolve, dissolve the, um, uh, uh, the um, Rothschild Bank and put them out of business so where's um, this one one two I've got a, I've got a, I've got to just sort my, my papers out because I've got Yeah, it, it has to come, to, yeah, it's, it's, it's like that, um, if we do it, then we're the model, we're the, the, the government here is responsible to make us guinea pigs <coughs> for all the native countries in the world to take them over with the flag, so we're snapping them from taking our flag and using it to overcome all the native countries in the world waiting for this country to, to get the title of the native title. So we're preventing them from getting the native title because they can't prove where they got it from. They have no information. They're just stealing the information I put out there. But it's got trademark on it, and that's the end of that lot. So, so uh, I, I, I could spend a long time on this subject because of my own kids and a loss, a loss of them. And uh, uh, we can we can always come back to it another day, but we're we're rushing for time now before the twenty eighth to try and get as much as we can. So I sneak this one in because I, I I saw it as a top priority human life as a top priority in my books. So that's why I put it up the front ahead of all the other corporate cases. Um, so so there that's that I hope that makes you feel a little better uh, tonight, uh, Marika, and. Um, um, we'll, we'll just carry on now Andy I'll go to the next page soon but I'll just start off with this little uh, bit before we carry on um, the uh, um, people going Philip um, the Afiki is going up to uh, Helensville and he's going to put the flag into the ground because he's um, he's a direct descendant of Kafiri the giant of Waikato in Raglan and also a um, uh, descendant of Manukau, uh, Rev Rafa Manukau, uh, from the Waikato in Auckland and also up up, up north um, in Rafiki where he's buried in the gravesite there. So I've got issues against the Iwis of that gravesite um, and claim, I'm claiming for Mohi Manukau, Rev Rafa Manukau, buried there at the gate, ne next to the gate, the closest to the gate, that's what Mohi said. The one closest to the gate or on the highest point of the, the hill is the Mana Whenua. that's the Mana Whenua. so that's why I'm claiming him on these documents and the Manukau in, in uh, um, um, Arapuni, Mangatauteri Hill, that Manukau and that Manukau in these Freemasons titles. So there, it's very difficult to try and contest a Freemasons native land title, very difficult. I don't get anybody to try, even the Maori government, where are you going to get your titles from? To make you a Maori government, you have to start where you but ask the question. Always ask the question: Who do you get your authority from? And then you wait for the answer. And the longer it takes to get an answer, the worse it becomes for them. So there, that's number one. Where do you get your flag authority from? How do you how do you interpret the flag into commercial use, and not waka? So that's another one. You you have to you have to think hard how a British king would think and, 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 and the parliament the, the parliament 
the, the House of Lords, do they think like you or do they think about money and, and, and what a flag's supposed to be? See? So this is the only business flag in the world. The rest are just sea flags for travelling from one country to the other. This is a real business flag. And so you should be talking business, not making karakias for this and that with that flag. Because it, the karakia won't work in a commercial world. It just won't work because it's got nothing to go with it to, to add up to what you're talking about. So, so there, we're talking this sort of talk, king talk, with that where, 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 where your, your queen silenced the king. Now you've got Fr uh, Charles there. Now you've got to start talking king talk. How are you going to talk king talk when you've got a whakamilina there? How, how, how are you going to express to the British king system how, how that flag interprets in king talk? Not, not queen talk, not waka talk. It, it doesn't work to make money. It's, it's a money flag. That's all it is. It's a money generating flag. That's how you should be talking to it. And leave your tiraranga tira flag for your waka. See, you, you've got to put the thing in right context before you can do anything in a court. Now you've got to go to a court. Which court are you going to go to get your authority from? Uh, which, which, w w which court are you going to go to to get your authority from? See, because we're just making our authority up from real stuff, not plucked out of thin air like this government here. They pluck things out of thin air, and that's their authority. They say, we are authority to ourselves. So you have to make your own authority and then try and borrow money. What are you going to borrow money with? You see? So that's another problem. So with Philip Te Awhiti, he's he I've told him to get a sound system with a small one, not a big, big one. As long as he can get people around on the site can hear Gregory and I talking from Russia so we can join the two native courts, the original native King's Bench Magistrate Bank Court together, the two together of the originals of the Navy uh, Admiral that got off the boat and said that the land belongs to the King. So we're really saying the land belongs to the native people of New Zealand that live on it. You see? It can be anybody because they're occupying the spaces on the land. So this crown in, in England owns all the land. You don't own anything. They own everything on their bits of paper. So unless you've got some bits of paper like these books you've got, then you, you, you've got no instruments to go anywhere with it unless you, one person can interpret the law from Britain before you even go to, where, to the world court. They'll say, where do you get your authority from? Who are you going to say? Who, who are you going to say you get your authority from? From the waves in the, in the sea in the Pacific? Or, 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 or from something, something um, 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 a topo or something that gives you authority to make money out of it. That's all they're looking for. Something something that's on a document that they can see you're making money out of. See? So the flag is not going to make any money for anybody because the government's already making money out of it. They suck the living daylights out of it and hijacked the damn thing for themselves because you didn't see what they saw and pinched all my documents. So they've got a big, big, big case on their heads against stealing um, um, Free Nation stuff. See? So, so you got that up against them now. So, so I'm not a Freemason. I just use their documents because that's all I know. It's been passed down from Mary Monica to me. And his family don't know about this sort of thing. So we got, um, he needs to take, get the, get the mobile phone to hook into, make sure it's got a lot of battery in it, to hook into the sound system so that when we talk, Gregory and I talk, we're talking to the both courts at the same time so that we can celebrate Mohi Manukau and his native um, native court in, in Awaroa Peninsula and his ancestors, the Rogans, the judges and the surveyors of the land that put all these titles together for you on the land, you people in Whakamilini. All your titles were done there in that court where the flag was flying as corporate business, not up at Waitangi. That that, that that didn't have any business, it just had the flag and the British just to show you there's a partnership there. That's all that did. It's got no money in it. The money's on the other side at Kōrua Veka, where the Navy talks to the government of Wellington in their own marae 
and they make their own deal. This is not seen because it's private. They treat it as private. So we're supposed to be private. You're not supposed to know anything I tell you about. But I tell the whole world because it's not going to be on my head forever. And so I give it back to the people. And if they can't see it, then the enemy picks it up and runs off with it. So that's the trouble. They kicked me off the Marae. I've been kicked off the Marae at uh, Titi Marae well, by those young people. That fellow, um, Kawa, Ngati Kawa. See the name Ngati Kawa. Is, is, is him. He, 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 he and Hama, Hama, Hama kicked me off, off there and told me don't come back. So I've never been back there. I, I will never go back there till they apologise. But it's a bit late for that now because the Crown and the big, big shots in, in the WF is not bothered about me or any party. They're just going for it. They just say, get this, get that, snap, take this with them, take, take the whole lot, take the whole lot, because they don't know how to do it. Only, only us know how to do the business. They don't know. <coughs> so there, making a Maori government work is very difficult, very difficult. If you haven't got memorials, the certificates, the instruments, the documents of the land, because if you take the land, you can take the whole lot. So they're going the wrong way, wrong, going the wrong way, doing the wrong thing, and, and not looking at who's on the land and how the flipping hell they got there in the first place. They're looking in all directions, in, in the sea, in the Pacific, and, and all the history to talk the fuck up of this and that and everything, which doesn't amount to legal contracts. So there, that's the problem I have with the Maori government, because we tried it, I tried it. I've been in the Maori government longer than anybody else with Sue McCoy and Gisborne. I used to go to there every month, travel all the way from Auckland, just to go to the meetings there with the incorporation and the Maori government. And she made me this and that, run around here and there for her. And, uh, and, uh, but it, 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 she got sung off the marae up there in Ngāpui because they don't like a woman running, running Ngāpui. So that I, 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 I had difficulty in her getting across Ngāpui even when they went down to Wellington with my documents and written all my, my, my titles and everything in the documents. That, see, it didn't, it didn't work because they don't know how to do it. They don't know how to do it, see? So, so they only got a few pieces of the puzzle. They haven't got the full quid. They haven't got the full quid, and that's the problem. That's why they need to learn very fast how a native court works. And they've taken years and years and years, and it'll just go into the next generation, next one, carry on, and they'll just keep spinning over and playing the tune of Jacinda Ardern and their government. So that's me. Fuji Dodd has got no connection to Britain. UK, with that flag, has no legal effect in it for fucking anyone. And Maori government is already Jacinda's a Maori government. She's a Maori government using Te Ture Whenua Act and, um, and, and, um, and the flag is a whakaputanga. See? They just grab all the words and away they go with it, like Stu Peters and that woman that's talking for, for the Maori government and pushing the narrative. And then I want to talk to Stu Peters and say, do you tell them where they're getting their authority from? Where's their na land title? How did they get on the land? And, and first, Stu, just, just start start from there. Don't don't start halfway up because it won't work anyway. Already just in the, the flag flying behind the Maori Party in the government. So the Maori Party's got a that's an offence. That that's a criminal offence and treason. Just putting the flag in that government under a Queen's bench court government and, and thinking they can get away with it because they're Maori because they can say what they like about Maori, because they invented the word Maori. It doesn't belong to you, and everything Maori. So um, it's a conflict of interest. Maori as a government creation, invention, to be proven in the British native land titles. In Britain, you have, to, you, have to, you have to have a look at the documents in Britain to see if there's anything Maori in it. You won't find any Maori anywhere. It's, it's what the tribunal will say, Waitangi Tribunal will say, Maori, way back at, at 1769 and 1831, they got Maori all over the place, mixed up. And then when you take another snapshot, it's got native, Aboriginal, Indigenous protection 
of, of those those chiefs and their sovereign land, individual chiefs. See, so so that's quarter now, right there. We'll come across that later. Um, so that's it. We'll get on with it now because we're we're pushing for time. So we're going to go to page one now, um, uh, Andy, and we're going to flick through them because we've got to get as much as we can get done. So there's our authority right there. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go past that. The Confederation of Chiefs, the United Chiefs, the United Tribes of the World. That's where the United bits in because the Maori put in the United Tribes of New Zealand later than 1834 in a new contract. So 1831 is a contract with the letter, then the next contract is 1834, then the next contract is 1835, then the next contract is 1840, you see? And then you've got 500 chiefs signed again in 1840. That's another contract, but not the original contract in real estate terms and, and certificates of title to the first name on the transfer title. So we go past you, there's me there with these, with the um, King William's photo on my shirt. I'll just have to clean it up and put it back on me before I go up there. And his coat of arms, uh, King William IV. So that's as his surrogate. So we go into the next page. I would all, oh, what's the, I would all, go back a bit. I would all native most of Port Helens or Craig Pole conquered. Oh, we don't want to look, we, we already seen that. And the connection to Okiato is there. Then we've got our backup plan, if in case the police can't help us here, um, to uh, to arrest these people, and um, and the military here, and the armed forces won't help us. We we, we ask we asking um, Michael Boyce, Admiral of the Fleet in Britain, because he's supposed to honour the black part of the flag. That's the military protector of King William the Fourth. He's supposed to because it's still in, it's still a live instrument, as far as this country is concerned and the way the government is looking at it that that it's a contract and and that seal is to keep the satan out which is everybody that's going up against us they're all satan that black that's what king william warned us watch out for the satan in in this in this cross here saint george cross here that uh, he gives you in the little corner there that's your own that's your own, and, and it, England is the big one, and, and the little one is due to England with your separate contract, your separate contract to the rest of Britain and everybody else in the world. So there, that's that meaning. That's another meaning, and the eight-point star is right there, and, 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 and we've explained it enough from Ireland. We've got a photo, we've got a video of Frank McElheron um, and, and the group there and, and uh, Lee Cantonman um, 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 at the grave site of um, St. Patrick. That's the title to the land. The, the grave site in King William III uh, used it as his title to the wealth and, and all the fortunes of the big crown that the Queen and Ross Charles pinched. And now we just flog the thing back to us with that flag and this eight point star and say, Where did you get your authority from, Pope? Francis, it's come out of this flag and this eight-point star of the Battle of the Boring in Northern Ireland. Um, and it's just as well they, they, they protected that part of Ireland because it comes under this flag as being the wealth. They claim the wealth there. And this is what this, this eight-point star, the best in the world of the business of corporations at um, 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 corporations um, municipal corporations act to pick up the rent off the land and put it into the crown. So there, we claim the whole crown, we claim the trust, we claim everything with this flag. And and you, um, uh, President Duterte of the um, of, uh, Philippines, were using his authority to uh, help us um, because he's British and he's holding our gold there of this trust, our Queen Victoria Trust. He's, he's got custody of it, and so we can we can put that to him at some stage. But I, I won't read the letter. You can read the letter to him because I'll skip this. It's, I want to save time and not um, not um, reading too much tonight. But there, that's a letter to him to help us. And uh, Spain, ambassador to Spain in New Zealand, 
you know, to to get him to help us because we're in a partnership with Spain, with our, our trust as uh, Queen uh, Sophia um, on the trust, and we have difficulties with uh, accessing that trust uh, without um, her say so, and we want to replace the Queen as head of that trust, and that's what I'm looking into. Uh, always been doing that. So there's the letter to him. You can read it in your own time. So I'll save a bit of time by just skipping through and reading only the stuff that matters. And there's the flag there that goes to him. So all of this is going to the council in, in Helensville and to the priests in Helensville. Put them on notice. And this whole 317 pages. And I'll be adding more to it. On, on the next case coming up um, and to join the two native courts properly together with no people in the way, no one to stop us from doing what we're doing because it's our celebration day and especially Mohi Samati Malakai and the Freemasons that put that all together for you to be on these days. So there, there's a letter um, to him as um, 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 an executor the, for everything I'm writing to these people, Admiral Assurance of Confederation of Chiefs, Native Magistrate Court Gregory Cook, um, and his number there for them, for him to ring Gregory, and we'll see what response we get back from them. Um, um, really, so there's my reprint of of me, and uh, eight of um, or I better read this the president of the Native Confederation of Chiefs flag contract to Witten, UK Witness Parliament and Trust New Land Native Official Awaro, Native Magistrate Court Bank, 10 Acre Block, Land Block 24 Commercial Road, Helensville, um, Awaro Country Blueprint Land Title, for all New Zealand Native Titles of our Crown Masters, Mori Samati Malakai, the fourth and his great grandfather and ancestor, John Rogan, Land Surveyor and Judge in this court. I carry his Manukau Rogan family, Freemason, Surveyor, Successor, Ownership, Native Land Title Document, Legacy, and Legal Authority to Administer Native Magistrate King's Bench um, Bank Courts of King William III, King George III, King William IV, Jurisdiction, and Legal Authority as a Maui Royal Bank and Crown Young County from Kings Enforced in New Zealand, in Britain, UK, in 250 countries, under King William IV Federal Government Flag. That's that flag of Admiralty Native King's Bench Magistrate Court, Confederation of Native Chiefs Ownership Trademark Title. So we've got a trademark on that. We've got Gregory Cook and his contacts uh, for them to contact him from the um, uh, ambassadors and uh, Staff Sergeant Tanya Ramaka. Um, um, and her position as well. They can contact her, those um, police and those um, ambassadors. And I've got Fiji and Tonga to write to and add them to it the next time around. Um, so these are all information from Andy um, that put these uh, all these videos together and, and right up to 24 now. So he's done 24 court hearings and we've added 24 books. Um, of um, uh, legal uh, information to stamp our title, all this work just to put the native land title on it and claim the flag as the origin of St. Patrick and, and King William III and King William IV. So there, those two instruments are all of this and the contacts for anybody to, um, to call Gregory, Admiral, that's talking on that piece of land up at Port of and um, because that's where the first flagpole went from Britain. You see the land belongs to the king. And then they went across to um, Waitangi, but they already said that they found the land, the country of New Zealand. So the stupid muggers, they f at, 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 at the government said, oh, we found it again. And we've got an 1840 founding document, that piece of concrete outside Jeki Marai that fooled everybody all these years with 500 signatories on it as they found it afterwards, after the fact. And the king thinks, oh, that's stupid. 
those people saying they found it when I've already found it for them and gave them a flag for goodness sake that I found it from the British point of view not from from New Zealand males see so there's something really wrong with the brain if you're not a mechanic to think hello there's something not clicking right here so there's the, the treaties and the little the treaty had a watermark on it so they bodied all that around to make it look like it had a watermark on it but there's enough information on that so i won't go any more with the, the, the letter of the treaty because they're using it interpreted into maori so once you play around with maori you're into it you're you're part of their system once you once you interpret something into maori then it becomes that the, the laws of cook island is maori they practice maori is their language in new zealand it's not you see how stupid it is it should have been the other way around. Here, Maori, not Cook Island. Now, Cook Island's got their own country back with Maori language and Maori, Maori law, and, but they're, they're going to be a, a, a war zone. It's going to be a, a war zone target for, for, for Putin and all his lot, and they're going to take out America, and they're going to drop the, drop the bits and pieces all over the place where, where these, these um, Americans are parking themselves off, still invading the world and trying to take control. That's why I don't like them, because they thug, thug the whole world with the flag. They thug the whole place with the, and shut everybody up to bits. That's all, that's all. When I look at that Queen and Prince, Prince Charles, it's all nothing but bullets. That's all. And this flag is causing all the bullets. So the only way to stop the wars is to take the flag off them. And this is all the the ancestors from Rafati Six Block, where Raf Rafati Manaka is buried, and so I I'll, I'll, I'll be choosing people out of here myself as a native assessor, because I, I if I get Maori names in there, the British will just trash the whole lot. They'll just trash the whole whole native title if it's wrong. If it's got a Maori in it with a surname that doesn't stack up with their list over there, they'll just throw the whole lot out. And that'll be the end of all the years of work. Gone because it's got one Maori interpreted English name into a Maori name like Pōmare. Pōmare sold the land and he's a palmer. He's not a flipping indigenous surname native. That's why it's all back to front with the cart before the horse in, in, the, in the system of Maori and Maori government. It's just twisted up with this government in Wellington, twisted it some more. They just twist the whole thing up in pieces and they can't prove where they get their titles from by themselves, Maori. The Maori tribe, where does it come from? You can't find where it comes from because there's nowhere it comes from. It's come out of their head. It's come out of this colonial party of white people in Parliament in Wellington. Now they put all the Maoris there once upon a time in the early years, they wouldn't let Maori talk or, or go in Parliament. They just banned them. Now they just flood the whole place out with Maori because they know their game is up and they've exhausted everything out of Maori. They've screwed every bit out of them because they own it. They own everything. And so that's going along through here. I just talking too much. I don't need to read my notes. Um, so we'll, we'll just carry on, Andy, quartering in. Um, now that's some more. We're supposed to be going to King Emperor, which one's now two, page two, page three, Philippines President. We've been past there. Page, page three, page four, increase help. Okay, we've been past there, page five, help from British Navy. I think we've been past there. That's page six. We, we scooted, uh, we're hold it there. Page six, um, and page eight was to introduce Admiral Gregory and stuff. We've been past there. Oh, skip through without reading it. Page seven, read the British Crown halfway down. Write the side up photo as Ma Maori pay access basis profit here. We're on this page now. So, what page is that? That's 39. I've got a hell of a lot of pages I want to look at before we got there. So we went to page 16, page 16, eh? 
Well, we'll, we'll, we'll skip all the pages up to um, um, page 15, page 16, page page 16. So just go to page 16. Oh, we, we've got to skip through all of this lot now. We've, I've, I've missed some. Page 16. Come on, get down here. I, I could have, I could have left. That's, that's, is that 16? 16, yeah. Yeah, um, just go down a bit more. Um, keep going, keep going. Oh, no, we, we keep going. No, no, go past there. Go to 21 now. Get down note on the King Charles Church of Bowden. Page 21, next. Page 21. Is that 21? Yes. There should be a, 21 should be a, the pound note of oh, there. So this is your Crown Corporation, the Queen, the Vatican, um, and, and, and the memorials is the, is the obelisk here with the, with the capstone at the top of the pyramid, and the Moai. Those are the instruments of the Queen and the Pope. They're using those instruments to take over the whole world, and now they don't need them anymore. And they're going to laws outside of the earth, what the Pope is saying. So, so there, that's just the picture. This pound note on the right hand side on the 28th, we're going to we're going to start using it against them and their corporation with this Moai flag to claim back our memorials um, from them. And uh, and uh, and there's some interpretation of it of what it means there um, to uh, to add it to. To what we ha already have as memorials um, with um, with uh, our, our instruments. So this is just another instrument with the with the pound note of King Ernest Augustus the fifth um, as as being he's supposed to be there running that that uh, monarch system with us the native chief uh, of the land. So so carry on. We won't hang around too much on these. We'll go to. Uh, 2023 just we're, we're going to skip through it I'll just go through the pages of 23 so there we've been through this before there's that the chief that we're going after his title with Te Awhitu to um, to uh, Helensville to Awaroa Native Magistrate Court this is the man and that's his big rock memorial to the to King George the fourth on the right hand side with all these eight point stars all over him and that's the memorial to his title conclave. So that's that conclave. And there's the Moai in Auckland with me with my hand around it, with a slight tequila, say, Queen Elizabeth put that one there. So I claim that one for the Cook Street memorial title. And then Pohara or, or, or Punapuna Marae has got a Moai, they've just put a Moai statue in, 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 in that Marae where this big rock is to claim this Moai um, here on the left hand side below. Kira Waikato, that's Queen Queen Elizabeth put that one in South Island in Dunedin for her title with the crown on his head as the basket of Maui and the, the title to the whole country. And then Helen Clark came along and put a replica Moai on the Lao Bay in Wellington just up from the Parliament as her title to the force when she did in 2004. So they're playing around with our memorials to put their documents, to, for their documents that you don't get to see. See, so that's why they're using this Moai because they know that's God's word, truth, and they don't tell the truth, so it doesn't work for them. Okay, there's our partner there, um, um, Michael Boyce. So I won't read anything because we've been through past this. Past we go to, we go to 24, go to 24. And there's Mohi Manika there, that, that on the right hand side. So he's the title to um, One Tree Hill. And Kafiri the giant, that's what the Ngāti Whātua Auraki Trust Board took, took that plaque off and hid it away. And then they had their, their fake Kafiri, who Kafiri, the crown took who Kafiri's title as, as the title over Auckland. So this is the man here that said, John, we're going to claim back Auckland and, and put the, make a plaque and put it on there. So I did. That's the plaque I made to put on to draw out the real one. They said they'll smash it if I leave it there. So I took it off. I still got it. 
and on the farm down home and um, until such time as we take the title to Cook Street we'll put this back up where it belongs or take the one that the Crown um, and the government has taken and stolen the thing off there. There was a grave site. They put it as a footpath for everybody to walk over every day over a grave site of this paramount chief Kafiri of Raglan. That's the real Kafiri and Hoth, Ra, Rocks, Hona, Kafuls and Nelson. We brought them up to, to here in Mohi and, um, and the other um, Angaru, uh, Mahi and Owen, Owen Paikia, uh, are put to the list. The three of them, they, they officiated an unveiling of this plaque and this memorial title back to Auckland. So I'll finish the job off. I'll finish it off for him and he'll be, he'll be smiling now that we've got this far after all the years in 1985 when Mohi Manukau put the Confederation together before Helen Clark or before um, Palmer and, um, and um, who was before that the Prime Minister made the 1986 Constitution Act and Mohi was trying to head west but um, he couldn't win because it was not his court. So there I'm, I'm, I'm there for him on the, on the 28th of October in Aotearoa, Brownsville and his son Ricky um, 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 Philip Te Awhiti and um, and Philip Newton will go around to see Ricky because Ricky is Mohi's son to uh, to come to the box and to claim his father's land title um, back to his um, his tupuna um, uh, Reis Rapa Manukau and Te Rewaipatu Parahiri in Manukau so there, that's the end of that one so we can go to 25 Page 25. That's 25. Um, that's 25. So this is the block of land that um, uh, Philip Te Awhiti is on. I can't see a lot of people rushing in to put their name on the title, um, but I'm not too bothered. We've got one. That makes it legal. We've got one chief and myself and uh, Blair Ingram as as witnesses to one one chief. This one, so far and um, a homie, um, um, a William Homie, uh, he, he's not, he's in two minds because I think he doesn't understand enough, I don't blame him, but he, three times I went and asked him if he's ready to sign and he, he said, oh no, he's busy with Fano stuff, so, so I said, well, I'll carry on with your Fano stuff because that's more important than this. And so that was the end of it because I said to him, I'll, I'll have to find somebody else and so th I'll leave that for next week and the week after to contact somebody else because it looks like he's not ready for it so there let's carry on Ca carry on down from we go to um, so this is where Te Awhiti gets his authority LD family that are on those blocks at, um, at um, um, Pohara Marae in um, Mangatauteri Mountain and not Taimuri's Mountain either. So there, these are the white native surname chiefs that can talk on that Aurora native court. They can talk. So I've given him authority for myself. You'll see later, I have a letter to him giving him authority from the court to act in my place and if, um, if uh, Ricky is there, so Ricky can talk for his own father, and um, but he doesn't have any of the information. I'll hold it for him. That's what I'm there for. I'm there for the Monaco family and all those families that being going to that court uh, there with the flag flying. And Rupene Kraka was one of them, and Graham Fan was another, and Hare Utatonga was another that was there when the flag was flying. And so we have people that are already there on that and that guy um, Tahe, um, uh, what's his name? Tahere, Tahere, he's another one, Tahere in, in um, Douglas um, so he's another one, I can name them but they're on the uh, minutes of the uh, meeting he had of those in the confederation that are still alive uh, Left Rep Monica, a bit of them there, gravestone closest to the shed that is Refa on the stone in my research of the Bay of Islands. See, these will go to court 
in, in here in this court if anybody's going to argue against me saying that that gravestone that's got Refa Refa Manuka name cut in half that's what they always do in this government they cut Maori names in half and and put another one on their titles on their Maori land titles and so I'm I'm I'm, I'm making a statement that that's this Refa Refa Manuka that Mohi Manuka I filmed him back then I don't know where the films are somewhere and uh, but he told me to film everything where he went and uh, so that's 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 him making making his I was doing this for his treaty claim see so he just said get up we're gonna go I was staying his, at his brother's place and they'd ring me up to pick him up early hours of the morning to take off all over the place all right okay we go to pretty all right we go to hang on we're on page four six one two four and we're just fixing up five we go to 33 33 <coughs> yes 33 this is Garafidi 6 block of the of the owners on Garafidi 6 block that's that's the township of uh, Garafidi Maori, na na Maori uh, land title it's still in Maori land title which is really odd that a whole township is in Maori land title because this is where Cindy Hero, the Governor General, she's on that block. See, you see how they timed it. They've got it all sorted out so that he can say, I'm a Maori, I'm from this block. And But when you go to Russell, there's no Maori land, only a grave site with one Maori on it that's not an indigenous term name. Um, I, I forget what it is, I forget. But I would have sworn it. But anyway, it's a grave site. That's the only Maori land, all the rest is British title so nothing wrong about that but that's the way they did it in the native court there so so um, uh, we can carry on so carry on down for now and these are the names of the people the Utitong has been been the, the furthest one um, up Hare Utitong I had all his information the title was one Utitonga name of all the Bay of Islands and Pahia all that land was one Utatonga title, but Mark Baker has kept all my documents and didn't give them back. I'm, 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 I'm lucky. I even got all the documents back. And, and but, but that's one that's missing. This, that, that, that title that's still holding on to Mark Baker in Kaheke, in, in Kaikohi. So um, I asked uh, Ma, 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 Manihi Mohini to ask him for it back because I can do without it. I, I can go lay over the top of it and no problem at all because they can't prove where they got the title from anyway it doesn't belong to them it's the Williams family that put that together so they don't relate to it nobody can relate or talk to it only Utatonga you see and the Williams talk for the Utatonga they know all about that Tiki land block the Waitangi land blocks that's why I said to King we get it back we'll, we'll we go into the Waitangi Marae, pull up the native court in there, and then take your land back for you, because that's what he wanted to do. That's why he signed those documents, and no problem to sign all those documents, and let alone anybody else sign them. So there we are. Those those are the first a lot of names. There's fifty of them all together, and uh, I just choose out of those on that land block where Kilo is, the Governor General is, on that land block. So there, all these ones I have to check to make sure that their whakapapa is going to fit the British title otherwise it's going to ruin it it's, go it's going to ruin the whole the whole title if it's got a Maori in it with a name that interprets into an English name like Pumare Palmer if you've got a Palmer in there it's, it's, it, they'll throw it out they'll throw the whole lot out so I don't want to, all my work and all this to go thrown out because of one person on the title that I put on there. So we just need three, and that that, that fixes all the titles, everything up in this country, and you'll be better off than what you are now, getting peanuts and working, and you're going to own nothing. You're going to own nothing if this lot get away with our flag and get away with the land title that they want to steal at both of those native courts. So they're there. So that's 
that's that's enough of that one. We'll go to forty-five. So that's just that's a Gregory Gregory's um, department there. Forty-five. Forty forty-five is done. Is the is the Waitangi Tribunal case? Here's, here it is. Here, the challenge of the tribunal has been to provide an independent, impartial, public, and accessible forum to which claimants can bring their claims. Alleged breaches of the principles of the Treaty of Waitangi have been heard and reported on in a timely manner. I am confident that the Waitangi Tribunal has provided a high-quality inquiry process and authoritative reports that continue to add value to the integrity and durability of the treaty settlement. I, would, I don't have to, to read any more because I'm going to skip a lot of it. I'm just putting these people straight on trial. And because there's enough information here to read um, everything in it, and, um, and, and, um, and they're just complicit in all the fraud. Judge Wilson Isaac, chairperson of the Waitangi Tribunal. He's got this power note on his head and the flag jurisdiction on his head. And he's got a trillion pound note on his head in, in this court here. I would have put a pound note there beside him, but, um, but I'm running for time. And I haven't got time to do everything I want. And this is Julie um, Tangairi, acting um, director of the Waitangi Tribunal Unit. I've still got some more other photos for to to name them all, but I've left them. It's in the other court hearing of them, so I'm just re bringing it up again to give them notice on this court hearing. Three times on they are out. So this court one is the second one. Next week they'll be up again in, in the third strike and they're out. The whole the whole Waitangi and, and the 1840 Treaty of Waitangi is a scam, the whole thing, because they can't answer. Here you have um, the decree, ever since the decree, which is, which is lethal, and Britain's experience of empire continues to galvanise humanitarian and British empire legislation. There's that word, legislation. We're using British empire legislation of 1833 against the legislation of this government here, and our flag is 1834. You see? You see how we put it together? And here, attention to the experience of indigenous people. The par 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 Parliamentary Committee on Aboriginal Tribes governed for two years, 1833 to 1835. And see how they're talking in the tribunal and reported in 1837 the year that the Aborigines, no marriages, eh? Protection Society was formed for the Aborigines. Where's the Maori? These developments all had a significant bearing upon the colonial office as it came to reconsider from the first approaches of the New Zealand Association in 1837, Britain's position in New Zealand. They knew there was no marriage in right here. Um, Download, so I put make sure to put download from the Waitangi Tribunal to libel them. Government downloaded from the Waitangi Tribunal, so they wrote that, and then here they put in the Whakaputanga. See, the Whakaputanga made a treaty. See, they're putting treaty stuff here as if they were there in 1834, in 1837. They're putting it in already before the Treaty of Waitangi. They're writing that the Whakaputanga was there. When in the British, they say there's no Whakaputanga. The mischief government is putting all their Maori bits in and mixing it up with the, with, with the you've just seen the, the, the snapshot go past of Aborigine, and now you've got the Maori here thrown all over the place and statement of objects of the New Zealand Association. So they've mixed the association um, in with the statement for saw Maori happily selling their unused land. See? So Maori's selling that. Natives were not allowed to sell there. Only Maori. Because the white face Maori sold the land. Not the brown face Maori. The white face Maori sold the land. You can see those white Maoris in Kororareka and their Maori, Maori just for white people. See? And no, no, no offence against them, but that's the way they said it. The statement foresaw Maori happily selling their unused land for normal sums to 
the old version of the course that dropped for them in Tuesday. So they've mixed all the whakapapa everything up. Maori, national, independent. So they bring the independence in with the flag on that day to give them authority to their 1840 Treaty of Waitangi. Treaty. Now, Kauai's 1814 proclamation referred to the New Zealand as a dependency of the New South Wales. So they fit this in to a British title and go around going, with the flag goes direct to Westminster. The flag comes straight from Westminster. It didn't go through Australia. So here, they're mucking around here as going through Australia with that sheriff lady from Australia, that lady saying, we are part of Australia. No, 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 we, we were already British with the flag. See, so don't bring all your stuff from Australia here. We've got nothing to do with you and this queen of yours that corrupted everything. So we've got a tight decree up against the Stuart Rockingham. So there, we go to, uh, where are we going now? 37, we go on, we go to 45. Wait, 45, where are we going? Where are we 45? 40, 45, 47. Oh, we've been at 45. We just passed. We just passed you. So we should be on 63. 63. Just read the end bit of 63. The, um, page 63. Just the end bit. See, we should be skipping past all these, but I just want to um, explain the difference of a whakaputanga in, in, in a native. And, and where, where, where does your whakaputanga fit in a native court? I'm just telling you. It's had no place in the native court. They just stuck it in there. The Waitangi Tribunal. So here, Maori at, um, Maori at 1837 is not a true history of events according to the British Crown Government Print Office as Aboriginal native Indigenous Aura, Aura Church publications in the legal documents that the New Zealand fake Maori tribe as Waitangi Tribunal and their Pākehā counterparts, uh, that's how they talk Pākehā, complicit in defrauding the New Zealand population into believing there was such a thing as Maori tribes in 1825 to 1837 when King William III died away, then um, a new crown under Queen Victoria and the Rothschild family as corruptors of the King's Admiralty Board of Fee men went in their churches and Bibles to screw the native priests off their indigenous sovereign land to fake laws and corrupted language to once banish off our native lands and put our own laws of King William III, King George III, King William IV back to Norway and stop the war with our confederation of priests, King William IV flag contract, law versus come back to the common law of King. Okay, so that's that, and we caught, caught Jacinda and Cindy at what they're doing now with our flag. We've caught them actually doing the fraud with flag. That's what I'm trying to say. And we go, we go to eight, um, uh, eight, eighty-nine. Oh, sixty-three. We gone, we we gone past sixty-three. Oh, we're, we're going to eighty-nine, eighteen, eighty-nine, eight, eighty-nine. I, I really need you to skip through all this lot. 89. There's Whakaputan going past. 89. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Right here. It is therefore hereby agreed between the said parties that Her Majesty Queen Victoria shall exercise absolute sovereignty in and over the said native chiefs their tribes and their country in as full and ample a manner as her said majesty may exercise her sovereign authority over any of her majesty's dominion and subjects. So we're citing her for that and it says Queen of England absolutely and without reservation all the rights and powers of sovereignty which the said confederation of individual chiefs, there's no Maori in this, this is Queen Victoria respectively exercise or possess or may be supposed to exercise or to possess over their respective territories as sole sovereign there are. so we are sole sovereign people we are sole sovereign right there and that's no marriage just native so you call yourself native on the 28th and don't call yourself married on the 28th call yourself a native you can do what you like after that day <coughs> no 
Let the director to the external external customer explain that the time that Spring Grid Courier takes until the right time will be weather shaped. The message meant to Spring Grid Court state clearly on green line video with crystal plain native street statement, not U95 of Maori European mixed race people that ABC is showing Spring Victoria. So it didn't say United in red, it just says individual streets. So that's the end of that. That's the end of that. We go to 96. We go into the forge react now. A bit of that. 96. Legislation. It's got 96. Go back a bit. I just want to see the word legislation. Forgery. There, 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 there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good. There. I just wanted to point it out. Forgery act. We, we're using this against Jacinda and Cindy. And, and, and all those trustees. So Forgery Act 1913 UK. Forgery Act 1913 legislation. So there's where we're using our legislation of this court against their legislation as from Britain where they got their laws from and they threw the laws away and they're only using legislation. So I picked out any legislation of today's Parliament in Britain and old one, but we're using 20, 2022 legislative acts, up to date ones, against this government here and shut them out. Shut them out with that on the 28th. Got legislation and laws against their legislation and their 1986 constitution. That's all they got in the picture of the Queen and the Maori. That's all they got. They haven't got any seals of all what we've got. No kings, no flags, no nothing. Just myth. Just myth. That's it. That's it, Georgie Dog. That's all you've got. Myth. And, 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 a, and a seal that you fellows have to follow. And there, you, you're stuck because you haven't got a court. You haven't got a court to try your cases. And you have to go to the law court where you won't get nowhere as a Maori. They'll say, where's your title? And that's the end of you. So here we've got definition of forgery. So these... Um, um, we went through this before, but I'm just pointing out some of the things that we're putting up against this government and Cindy and, and, and the trustees, especially we're coming up to the trustees, I think. But I'm just leveling all of this at the Whakaminia to see how deep you have to go before you can get your government even off the ground. I tried. I tried my hardest with Tina Cora, but nobody knew the law. Nobody. They just haven't got it in their brain. They don't do this sort of thing because they're not interested. They're only interested in tikanga. Well, Moai is tikanga, where the law came from, the L-O-R-E, came from my family in Raiatea Island. That's where it comes from. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm used to law because it's in me. My tūpuna are saying, don't do it. Just follow the law. Don't break the law. Just pick the best laws and go for it. You, know, you keep on the track because we're watching, Moa is watching what you're doing to make sure you do it right. See? So, so there, we go, we go to 97. So there's more on forgery, forgery and counterfeiting, British government. So we just quote, we just quote the um, a site, I mean, excuse me, saying site, the forgery acts. Um, uh, that you come across the legal guidance for the economic crime. See, there's another one, economic crime. They're doing economic business for themselves and the government EF, not for us. So we're doing economic fraud case against them for our economy and our power and to put them out of business on the spot, on the spot. So they're making a false instrument. They use false instruments to turn the native into Maori. And the British would have done that. They would have put Maori there instead of native in the first place, but they didn't. The Maori here in Parliament, not the Maori in Waitangi, not the Whakamininga people, but the Maori in government, and, and the likes of the Maori party, they've got the flag party there. What are you going to do about it, Georgie Dog? What, what are you going to do about those Maoris in there using the flag better than you fellas? Because they know it's a business flag. It's not a flag of wakas. It's not a waka flag. That's the problem. Real problem. Can't get it in your head. You can't fuck a papa in business because it just doesn't work. They just do memorials to the land 
that you live on and everybody can't be cooked anybody off because they got international laws to stop anybody kicking them off unless you've got superior law and documents to kick them off kick anybody off the first one to go after was all those Americans come here to hide away with all their wealth you go straight for them into church see when you get one land at Cook Street that's that's with all these titles then BAM off goes the shirt to click them all up so that's how that works with forgery of names and forgery of whakapapa because the whakapapa in Tainui is all upside down back to front and also Ngāti Whātou all back to front and, and, and Dion Walker is quickly learning how that all works because he's following religiously what I do and he's only interested in getting he, he can't even get on his own land because the trust deed stopped him which make it make the king think or cited the Waitangi Tribunal as fraud. So there we're saying here the Waitangi Tribunal is fraud and complicit in the government's fashioning of these l illegal documents, instruments. These are instruments of fraud. False instrument is one that purports to be something which is not. You see? i.e. that is it must tell a lie about itself that's what they've been doing all along and we prove it we prove they are lying and wait to see what happens if they zip out it means they're up and that's the end of them they can, they can lock them up we call lock them up not 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 let them go they're not going away they're not going no one's going to get away from moab nobody escapes moab he's 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 looking at, uh, looking at them. Uh, so we go to 98. 98. Geez, we're only running halfway. Um, a false instrument is one that purports to be something which is not. So they're just saying it again. An instrument that, that tells a lie about its subject matter or relevant factual circumstance states that an instrument is false. So in that's enough of that then. With with with, with Don Carcella. Now we're on the next page now. Um nineteen eighty one act ninety nine. Ninety nine. The nineteen eighty one act ninety nine. I'm making a false instrument if they alter an instrument so as to make it false in respect whether or not it is false in some other respect apart from that alteration. This is what we're leveling against this government for altering British printed press documents, sealed documents that alter them illegally against the flag. We can prosecute if irrele if relevant event event occurred in England or Wales and New Zealand. We're putting this Justice Act nineteen ninety three part one against the government tonight in this court. So there we just quote it off as it goes past because it's verbal. I'm saying it verbally on, on the video of what we're using as instruments against the government. So we use that and just roll up to 110. We're using the British Empire legislation 1833, bottom of the snapshot. That was on page 109. What's that page? What, what, what's that one? What's that page just gone past? Keep going, keep going, on oh, 109, there, the 109, there should be a bit on the, the, the um, British Empire legislation 1838, there, there it is, we are quoting this against this government in Wellington on this video tonight, this British ex experience of empire continued to galvanize humanitarians after the abolition of slavery in the British Empire by legislation in 1833 so we're using that 1833 legislation against this government as indigenous people okay you got that people not now not not indians or anybody else but indigenous people that's everybody born on the land this is this is what this means the parliament committee on aboriginal titles um, commented for two years, 1833 to 1835, 
can recording in MPC three the same year that the Aborigines Protection Society was formed for Aborigines, not Maori. No Maori is in this snapshot. So there clearly defined one and the other a Maori and a native Aboriginal indigenous. So there, I'm just telling the Whakaputanga and the Whakamenia, here's your answer to who's a native and who's a Maori. It can't prove what a Maori is and Whakapapa all over the place because it doesn't matter in a commercial contract court. They don't want to know. They, they've put it in the archive over there, all the Whakapapa rulings, because they moved on. They moved on and they don't want to talk about Whakapapa in title. So keep going to you know, 110. 110 Maori. 110 Maori section here at the top. So, so I just want you to look at it and see the word Maori in there. I won't read it, but you can see clearly this snapshot is full of Maori in it, and it's just fitting itself. It's just dropped itself right on top of the native title of Britain as if it's real, and it's not real. You see. Well, they're, they're stretching back to 1814 proclamation. So we got a proclamation to out that on the 28th. We have a proclamation here that negates the Maori land titles and the Maori government in Wellington Corporation. We can negate the whole lot and put it out. Put put it out with that with this 1814. They can't reach back beyond 1840. That's their rule. That's their rule, not law. That's their legislation. They legislation out settlements under Waitangi Tribunal to stay at 1840 and not to go back home. Here they are reaching back in their latest Waitangi Tribunal report to people that, oh, now we can go back. We can go back and put ourselves there. And nobody will ever know. If I didn't tell you, you would never, ever have known. So dear, be lucky you got this looking at you, at what's true and what's not true. So we go to, um, and we go to 110, 116. These are just snapshots that I've picked out. 116, Native Chiefs, 116. Is that it? Oh, this one, yeah. So, so here, um, I, I, I won't read what I've written, but it's, it's just that um, they're tampering around with British documents, that's all I want to say there. And Tiriti, they've stuck Tiriti in there, so there's nothing British about Tiriti that they've designed there in their treaty claim uh, system. So there's nothing much there, I just want you to, I just want you to write a bit of we go to what's on the next one? What's this one? Oops. Native chiefs and tribes settlement among them and no chief subject protect the native chiefs and tribes in their just rights. Yeah, so there, that's the native chiefs there again. And uh, no Maoris. Absolutely no Maoris. But this is Queen Victoria and the government here and the Waitangi tribunal makes their snapshots as if Queen Victoria tell them that there was Maori there. But here, it's a clear snapshot that there ain't no Maori in this one. So, so we go to um, 116, 117. These are the ones I just wanted to clearly show you. He who thereby acquired the government of the Maori people. There's a Maori there, putting themselves in the word of the white Maori who objected the opposition of Pākehā law. See, so they stacked the Māoris against the Pākehā laws, and so the Māoris are fighting all these years against the Pākehā themselves. That, that they've set up this battle between themselves, the Pākehā and the Māoris, and this is how it came out. Believe it or not, they just did that to screw the people Māori into believing that they had a title which they didn't have. No Maori has title of their own to the land. Nothing. 
and the Scottish were say they swear they were here before the Maori. That's right, they were here before the Maori because the Maori was only invented in 1949. The Maori Land Court. That's when the Native Land Court ended and the Maori Land Court started in 1949. No Maoris before that. They just made it out of thin air. So there, that's proof. That's proof that there was no such thing before, 19, before the war in 1945. When the Maoris came back from the war, there was Maori land and their, all their land was being sold by the white Maoris while all the brown Maoris went to war. You see? You see? See what I mean? The Maori Battalion. The Maori Battalion. So they went to die for these idiots in Wellington and lunatics in Wellington. Not the ones in Britain, the ones in Wellington. So, uh, 123. 123? Oh, we've got a long way to go. 123. This is just to be clear for everybody going up to Korunareka and to Waitangi. What you know and don't know about what this government is up to and there's nothing they can do about it. You can't do nothing about it because they have control over you and the Whakamini and everything because they are using that so illegally. The only way to stop it is a native court, not anything else. So I'm just defining. I, I won't read what I've written. You can read what I've written. Um, so I want you to go go down the end, go, go to the next snapshot. So you can read that, what does this one say? Decreed law accident, oh I wrote that. Māna Tahenere said, no, Māori New Zealand, the treaty Māori, no, no, that wasn't mine. So go to, to um, 125. We, we go to 125, and then we go to the Jurisdictions Criminal Justice Act 1993, part one. So that's what I wanted to quote here. The, um, the, um, where is it? We've got section up on this top here. Forgery and Counterfeiting Act 1981, section 91AG. Sets out eight explicit scenarios in which an instrument is false for the purposes of FTA 1981. That's all I wanted to quote here. False instrument that means something which is not. So it's just doubling up. On, on, on what things we already see. So that's that one. Um, 132. We go to uh, 134. Man, we've got a few to this one. We, we, we did 134. So this is 134. So there's the Pope and he's X now. He's, he's multi -propria. So we can skip through this and we'll put the seal here and the April star to liquidate him with, with his own laws. So that's really what that star is there over him because he's been usurping St. Patrick for his wealth from the Admiralty Law Mortgages Lien. That's where he got his wealth from, from this eight point star and that Admiralty rope around it. So that's all that I have to say there. Creating the World Trust. So he's destroying what, what he set up and he can't destroy our trust in England because that's a separate trust. That's a trust for land. The King's Land Conquered Lands is not his birth certificate trust. So there's two trusts. The birth certificate bond that's held by the Pope. That's that trust which we go after with this open Chinese head and a flag. And the other trust, the Queen Victoria Trust, is the King William IV Trust with the flag of all the wealth that the king has has conquered all the all the countries, Commonwealth and all of that, and all the trade countries that put the money into the crown um, crown uh, treasury, and so that's our stake in the crown of that. So uh, carry on there. We go to 144. 144. We're getting through it. 144. These are all accounts. We carry on going. 144. Black one or 144. Roll up some more. What's this? Holding a sense anywhere in the world. Second law. Supply Act. Council Night 50. 
something like it. It's two cylinder version of the Space Master Gun. No, it's just to show you what we're using these X of King William the Fourth now. That's it. We're, we're using 1984 pages of X from 1830 to 1837 of King William the Fourth laws on top of this government in Wellington. And that's what I'm saying in this court hearing today. Just to show you where we get our laws and X and legislation from. See? So, so there we, we've got a part coming up of legislation. You'll see later on. But I'll skip over that bankruptcy act and all that, etc. Um, so all those ones in highlighted in red bold are the acts we got up against this government. And money, especially the Bank of England Act and the Pound Note Act. We, we put that to liquidate them for the Pound Note. And this is where we get the authority from these laws over there legislating. There's the Admiralty Act there, 1833. So that's the flag. Act, we use that Admiralty flag uh, Act for that flag to put all its power on top of them with that because it's an Admiralty flag of business. And that's ours. There's the Bill of Exchange. Keep bankruptcy. We bankrupt them under that Act, 1832 of King William IV. And we go, keep going. We, you, you can see them as it goes through. That I'll just quote them off as you can. Crown Lands Act, Scotland, we use that to seize all the Crown Lands. You see? So, so there. Um, uh, Ecclesiastic Corporations Act, 1832 of King William, we, we seize all those church properties with that Ecclesiastic Pope's title to corporations. We go after all the corporations, all, all, all those property developers, banks, all those things with this act here, Ecclesiastic, where the Pope has put his finger into Westminster Parliament to have a stake in our crown business. Forgery, adultery, punishment, um, insolvency, debtors act. We put that one into insolvent, not some insolvent. Debtors, Ireland Act. So there, we've got some worse ones coming up. So as we can, s we're only on 1832. We, 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 we've, got to, we've got to get through them. There's a madhouse act. We put that on Jacinda, the madhouse. The, the real madhouse in Wellington, creating madhouse act. So there, it'll tell you what's a madhouse act, and they're, they're, they're in a madhouse down there, and we dropped that one on them today, because that's all I can say they are, and we put this act right on top of their head, as madmen. <coughs> so we're on 140, 144, I think. Yeah, 144 onwards. 144 onwards. So those are interesting, um, interesting information um, that gives this court a lot of power to choose the laws we want and there's nothing anybody can do about it. There's nothing anybody's doing about it either. And it must be right. So that's what we call ticker. Ticker is correct. It's correct. So where do you get up to? We'll just keep rolling. And the, I would just want to see the, the, the Bank of England Act and the Pound Note Act. So we're sticking those two acts on top of the Rothschild's Bank of England and we, we, we have our own acts of Bank of England over the top of them. Sheriff, the Sheriff's Act, 1832, that's, that's Gregory's Act there. Cliff Act to pick up the rent and everything on the land. Administration of assets of uh, estate. There's the Bank Notes Act there, 1833. We use that for our power note. And the Bank of England Act, 1833. We use those two tonight and on the 28th to enforce our power note and use it against them as trillion pounds against those people. They've got a trillion pounds against them and a hundred trillion against Sin Taylor and a hundred trillion against um, Jacinda Ardern. So that should be enough to start us off, really. It should be enough to start it. There's a Lunacy Act against Commissioners of Lunacy Act against those lunatics I call in Parliament and, and, and Biden, lunatics. Court of Bankruptcy in England Act 1833. So there, we're putting them, we're bankrupting their businesses. Anybody that's on that side milking it, like all those people who've made a lot of money out of it, you're going to have to pay the bill. That's the way this court is. Inheritance Act 
that for our Queen Victoria Trust we're going after all that stolen wealth, gold and everything, and including that gold that David Strait says I'm, I'm holding the key to. Certainly right about that one. Yeah, certainly holding the key to all this on. And nobody ever knows how it works until I tell you that. Um, we've done Police Magistrate Metropolitan Act, Police Magistrate. So really we should be using the police magistrate um, um, as, 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 as sheriffs and all writs of execution. Yeah, here we go. Writs of execution at 1834. We're, we're dropping this one right on them tonight. We're dropping this one. Writs of execution act. That's to, to execute your documents. And writs are real lethal. The writs we have are real lethal. And it could have you hung. <coughs> um, Cultural Assets Act, Cri Central Criminal Court Act, 1834, that's what we're using as well. Chancery Act, we're using that as well on the um, money side of Treasury. Court of Justice, Ireland Act, we use that one. Customs Act, India, East India Company Act, we use that one, 1834, follows India and King George III, they put that all together, the part of King William IV. He stuck all that and America together. So that's us. We use King George the Third X because he he pushed the um, the eight point star St. Patrick's Municipal Corporations Act. He pushed it. King William King George the Third pushed it into America. That's us. We use that act on top of everybody. Cause cause fines recovery Ireland. See, we use these fines, we recover all the money that's stolen and everything we put up against this government, the people who are remaining here and the trustees and everybody, they're going to get all this shoved down their throat in, in this court and on the 28th. Insolvent debtors, so we use those. All these ones that are underlined are in all the court hearings tonight, the five court hearings that are mentioned in this, in this court tonight. Um, so we can carry on. We've got three more years to go. So not many, not very many acts to to put everything together tidily, tidily, without too many acts. Yeah. So these are clean acts. These are clean acts. Um, convictions. No. Um, Pete John. Well, that's well, that's tra trial trust property. Yep. The trust property act against the trust. City of London, tax law tax. Um, no. Bail, no. Bankruptcy Act, no, we use the other. Declarations Act, we're going to use this Declaration Act on the 20th of October and declare under this Act now what we're going to pay. Declaration taken by the sheriffs. So they declare on that day that they follow this in declaring what we're going to declare our country back in native title to the people of New Zealand and the flag, ownership, and all its trust business. That, that, that's what that one's for tonight in this court hearing. Um, imprisonment for debt, yeah, yeah, imprisonment for debt. If they got the debt and they can't pay, they go straight in prison with that one. Okay, so we're, we're, we're not being kind here with these laws. They deserve it because they've got away with 187 years of robbery right to now and they're going to have to pay it back and all those people who milked it they're going to and those rich americans coming here you're going to you're going to have a sheriff knocking on your door municipal corporations england act 1835 there it is they pick up the rent on the land king william the fourth and the eight point star of um, saint patrick here is it to pick up the rent on the land and take it off this government Right there. They haven't got laws like this. No, they just borrowed them and screwed them around into legislation. And we've got to drop the law right on top of their head with that one. King's Bench Act. See, we use this movement of indictments into the king. All the indictments against the crown in anywhere in the world can come under this act of those countries that come into the King's Bench Court. Um, of, of, of re removing the indictments that they have against somebody in America or somewhere or Australia and put it into the 
King's Bridge Court under the check, then try them. It's a one shot trial like what we're doing now. In, bang, out. No waiting around and, and putting the court hearing off to the next day. No, it's done in one shot a day. That's it. That's how the natives did their court hearing. They did it in one day verbally and got rid of any criminal activity on their malai. That's the Treaty Declaration Act, the 35 first installment of Tabu, Union Parish, West Australia Government Act. See, they were under King William IV in Australia, Western Australia in 1835. So he had a hand over there. And they didn't need to come from there to here under King William the Fourth. Otherwise, they would have put it that way. But they came here under Queen Victoria. See, and here's William over there already. Why didn't they come under William, King of England? Because they couldn't. Bankruptcy Act. This is one that's dropping on these people in this court hearing tonight. The bank we're going to bankrupt you under this Bankruptcy Act of King William the Fourth. 1836 C27 Bankruptcy Ireland Bankruptcy Bastard Act in Scotland use a Bastard Act on these bastards so there that one Bastard Scotland Act 1836 C22 on all them bastards that have been screwing all your people and, and stealing kids and all the rest of that and dabbing them to bits and spoiling their bodies spoiling their bodies there that, that's a real bastard thing to do First and Death Registration Act, we go under our own birth and take those birth certificates and registration and that whole thing with that act. <coughs> so, um, Commissioner Court of Edinburgh, so anything to do in Edinburgh, we knew. The Commissioner Court of Edinburgh as our own commission to the land court titles in Edinburgh of Tera Waikato, Tarahiro, and Manukau and the Independence City Congress. So, we knew that one was going on. In Edinburgh, in the Freemasons' main office there, so they'll be listening. They'll be listening to what I'm saying, and that's what the fuck I'm eating. doesn't have somebody watching over what you do. If you've got this sort of information flying around all over the place, executions for murder at 1836 C30. This is what Jacinda and all those people who are spreading stuff spreading stuff to murder people, if it's found out that it's murder from that court, but in our court we're saying it's murder in the Native Magistrate Court, we're saying it's murder and treason and and high treason and um, and coercion and all this sort. You know all this. That comes under this execution for murder. You get hung for murdering people intentionally with something that changes their body to make them not the same as what they were from God. See, so they're being of God, they're trying to be God and replace God up there. That's the one I go to, Moai and the God up there. Um, the problems with that, I'm so past that. You see that one already. And so, see how important it is? To, to, to run through these things. The Deja in Municipal, Municipal Cor Corporation of the Island Act 1836. There's William, no, no, William the Fourth again with the picking up the rent on the land. So there, um, um, Frank McElhaven and, 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 and um, Paul Brown. And there's, there's your, you know, and, and, and uh, uh, um, uh, um, what's her name? Ireland, Ireland, her, Rebecca. There's one for you, where the money comes from, off your land, goes into the crown that got stolen, hijacked, by those thugs and pirates that are running Westminster and, and selling it off. Prince of Wales Act. This is what Prince, Prince Charles is using this act on for him from this king. You see, the Prince of Wales, this is Prince Charles Act of 1836. He's going to milk it for his position as King of the Pacific, not King of Britain, UK. He hasn't got a title of Britain or UK. Only King Ernest Augustus V has the succession to the throne to the King Act of Britain, UK, 
Prince Charles can never do that, and neither can Prince William, that they're trying to fashion Prince William to take over the King William title. No, he's the wrong bloodline. He's not a duck. That's the, they're trying their best, no kind of best. You can't proclaim this flag and King William as if he was a King William II, William III, William IV. No, wrong bloodline. Absolutely wrong bloodline. So we go down here. Press X, that's a lot to do with money. Fill in ink act, see, this felony, that, that, this, that, that, committing felony in the court, under that act, and all the bad things, valuation of lands act, or we don't need to do that, we put our own value on, on the land, we put the higher value on the land, and the higher value on the birth certificates, a trillion pounds on the birth certificate, where the Pope gets a hundred million for each birth certificate, that's a time mistake in history. Bankruptcy Act, we've done that one. We've done the one, we've done that one. So it's good information for you to know how deep this flag goes. Payment of credits, that's what we use this one. Payment of creditors, Copyright Act 1837. Oh, we're on 1837 now. There we are. We're using that as our creditor company. Now, Atua Ewa Aote Limited, New Zealand, and Moa Power Powerhouse Group Limited, London when we get to register again, it will just pick up under this creditor's payment. They've got to pay the creditor back for all the piracy thing and drop the Piracy Act 1837 CAO on all those pirates in Parliament here and government. So there, that's another one for you tonight, Cindy Tua and um, Jacinda Ardern. The Piracy Act is right on the head tonight. Well, Bob, robbery from the Persons Act 1837 CAO, that one on top of your head which will robbery everybody in this country see and sheriff's fees act 1837 that applies to sheriffs how they're going to get paid and everything and what we recover transfer our admiralty postal contracts act there's another contracts act here that's a poster post postal um wills act 1837 c26 the wills act comes into anything of inheritance um that goes to you in this court comes under there and that's the end of those acts um, that's put up against all those people with their photographs there as being from a higher superior court so there versus New Zealand government Maori party so this is the court case against the Maori party and that flag and using our flag in their Maori government as offensive and criminal act of treason against the people of New Zealand whose flag it is, not the government corporation's flag. So there, that's that's with the New Zealand government, Maori Party leader Rawiri, Waititi and Debbie, Lawaka, pa pa Paka, and its party complicit in the Jacinda Dern fraud scam pandemic, stumbling and illegally flying our 1834 Confederation of Chiefs 1834 flag as a Maori Party gets one trillion down note on their head each of this court today for usurping our Queen's Bench Magistrate Court flag jurisdiction. The Maori Party is using the word Maori invented by the New Zealand Government Parliament Pākehā in 1979 thereabouts and illegally altering the British Government name title record by inserting the word Maori in 1979 and again in 1839 as if Maori pride existed in those years, they published their illegally altered our original 1822 to 1834 native British le legal land title document and historical pakapapa traditional history because they use um, contemporary history made by um, professors and and I use traditional the real pakapapa traditional history documents to make the fake artificial Maori Queen's flag to appear real when it's not real is the offence of this court hearing today Saturday 27th August 2020 found you all guilty of prosecuted convicted and charged that flag to 1837 death of King William IV all restored flag sovereign title so, so we just this is the second time around to the Maori party and the government two strikes and next strike they're all out Right, with what I just said now about using our flag as a whakaputanga flag 
in their gallery, they now found them. So they're Nuva, um, Nuva is a lawless government operating a foreign government corporation, private married town business of self-interest using its own, own legislation and its own constitution act 1986 and state marriage system Queen Queen Elizabeth II did institute here in splendid miss jurisdiction no oath to the office or of corporation business of no legal authority in Queen of England or British UK monarch shoe or British law jurisdiction or legal authority versus the Confederation of Native Chief Lords for King William the Third, sixteen eighty nine, and King William the Fourth Act for this Mr. Parliament, eighteen thirty to eighteen thirty seven, we just read through already. British law and practice in our native magistrate Supreme Court and British UK legislation, two thousand twenty two, and King George the Third Constitution Act seventeen seventy six, and his son King William the Fourth Dutchman, that's what these Nuva now government pirates on this native land are the first to that land in the first place second well these are just some of the things i'm leveling up against them so you can read them in your own time and i won't keep reading forever because i want to get through it we've got 317 pages to catch up to so these here are everything that we're going up against this government and using these instruments and statements against them and the plan b here is brics brazil russia China, South Africa, and our allies, Spain, Tonga, Philippines. So there, those are just backups. Of, of we get no protection from, from that flag we're supposed to get from Britain, and they've reneged on it. So Britain has reneged on our protection of us here in New Zealand, all of us. So there, that's, that, that, that they think that America's going to bring protection here. No, they're going to wipe everybody off and own nothing if they go that way. Prom proclamation, and this is the meaning of proclamation I put there, we'll read it, because I get a bit tired of reading. And so that gives you an example of how, what we are proclaiming on the 28th, and what we are declaring in front of each other, some of the things that I've said already, but I'll make a list, I've got a, big, a bit of a list somewhere, in, in what we're going to do and how we're going to put it across, and I'll read the proclamation out, that I put in 2017 with King Utodo, the, le the leader of, um, of uh, Te Te Marae, the, the chief, and he signed all my documents, and he signed the proclamation that I'll read out, and I'll be reading on the 28th of October as well. So the proclamation, so there's some information about it um, to the mayors and governors of what proclamations are for. So we're proclaiming because we are our own self-government in Britain that we're going as partners. So we're practicing as if we're already with Britain and, and going alongside of them to help them out of the pound note to dissolve Rothschild and kick the military and pay the military with the pound note and what we get out of the recovered debt, debt of all the people. What is a declaration? Here's the bit on a declaration. Um, is a written statement we swear under penalty of perjury is the truth. So we swear that everything on all these 24 documents and 24 videos, and there'll be about 26, 27 altogether by the time we hit going up to Puerto Rareca, we'll have, um, we'll have 20, 27, should be about 27. I'll, f I'll fit in one maybe during the week before the 20, uh, on the 25th we'll have another one. And that's the day I've given the government all those agents time to respond by the 25th. Otherwise, it's three strikes and the whole lot are out. They can't contest us. And that's all that's going to lead to in our declaration on the 28th. Because they feel silent. And, and silence is acquiescing to new law being the real true law of the land and the country and the flag. So there, that's what this, um, I just put it so people looking at what we do and if we know what we're talking about, so I just put things here that where I base my interpretation of what a declaration is and what a proclamation is in public. That's what it means, in public. All the people. So here's the proclamation coming up. I'll read it 
because that's what I wanted to save my breath for. And this was in 2017. Proclamation. In the name of His Majesty King William IV, King of the United Kingdom, Britain, Ireland, having as his living blood during successor in 2017, King Ernest Augustus V, 62, heir to the throne, King of Britain, UK, Hanover, of the New Zealand World New World Order. So this, that's, that's, I'll put that right in the face of the New World Order, if they got W-E-F wrong, instead of New World Order. And so we just take that title of New World Order off them in this proclamation. And his son, Prince Regent Ernest Augustus, 32, heir to the throne. So we're putting the right king on the throne because Charlie seemed to have difficulty being the king of the throne when everybody knows he can't do it. By Hawani Kati Wana Sheriff Predator, Trouble with King William IV, Maori Native Land Commissioner. So that's what I'm in, in, uh, representing back then. Chief King Tongi Hika for the Confederation of Chiefs Hapu in Congress Assembly in Waikani. I did this all in front of you. Chief Tera Waikato for Aotea New Zealand Pacific Islands World New World Order Maui Crown Bank. So there's the bank there that I've made these proclamations in front of you today. And King has signed it for the whole of Pitti Maui and all those people in Napoli. This one was for you. This, this was set up for you for the 28th of this month to get back in line. Whereas me, as Chief Commander, not Commander in Chief, Chief Commander, assert His Majesty King Ruler Regency in Waikani Maui, that's what he did, he King, after, on that day that he went there and did a name called Healing there, signed it on that day. Um, um, nation Court from His Majesty King William IV, Admiralty Law, Jurisdiction of the Flag. Jurisdiction. So we've got jurisdiction on the general through his principal agent, State of Colonel James Dyson, did assert, assert on the grounds of discovery of Aotea New Zealand, that's that Mary Manukau thing, Aotea, not Aotearoa, that the United Nations says Aotearoa. So Aotea New Zealand is, is the Freemason with Mori Manukau and Aotea Raglan, Tatari the Giant, and Aotea Downtown Auckland city centre and Great Barrier Island in Aotea and Aotea down the South Island. So there's Aotea everywhere, not Aotea Law. Land of the Long White Crown. That's another myth. Now in right of Hapu Sovereign Chiefs, the administration of their native lands over the southern islands of New Zealand Commonly called the Middle Island and Stewart Island. And the island commonly called the North Island, Northern Island, transferred back to the Confederation of Chiefs Hapu under proclamation of their inherent continuity of unbroken sovereignty over their native lands to their commercial trading bank private contract business partner His Majesty King William IV's successor King Ernest Augustus V and his successor Prince Regent Ernest Augustus under famous law forbidding women succeeding to his British throne. Now therefore I, Hwani Kaatiwana, my crown, Native Land Commissioner of Aotearoa New Zealand and Pacific Islands, do hereby proclaim and declare to all men that from and after the date of these blessings that my Native Chief Administrator of King's Leaf Lands through St. Patrick's Borough Council Land Bank Tax Bank Chief Flag of Admiralty full sovereignty over New Zealand extending from 34 degrees 30, to 30 minutes to 47 degrees 10 minutes south latitude and between 166 degrees 5 minutes to 179 degrees of east longitude vest in the Maui Crown under His Majesty King Ernest Augustus V and his son Prince Regent Ernest Augustus um, nominated as King of Britain, UK Military Protectorate by the Chiefs in Congress Assembly for 
forevermore given under my hand inside right hand of my arm king says court house born the second to six day of February that's why can we day we did this we did this in Tiki Moa in the paddock did a native court then went out into Waitangi with the king and did it again there in the year of our Akia Lord God 2017 inside Waitangi Maui King Prince Native Courthouse Maui King William IV Federal State Commonwealth Government of the World we will order that's our way of putting it St. Patrick's order 8 point star flag 2nd and the 6th or 2nd to the 6th of February 2017 to T and Waitangi Land Maui Hapu Land returned to the Chiefs signed by His Excellency oh dear signed with King Maui Crown and St. Patrick's Church Order Secretary Jamie Emma Maria Marie Patrick so there's um, Jamie's signature as a Patrick a family of St. Patrick there in her bloodline with Scott and Yard Stewart so two men in her family Stewart um, Scott and Yard and Patrick the eight point star in Ireland so there that's why she's there as a secretary to me and there's in that year she was there as well and there's videos of her flying the flag in on the treaty ground by ourselves and Hohepa Pitiha has died and he was the other one and Louis Pater was there as well but they didn't sign the document only King signed the document and not this one uh, Bundy and uh, Manahi didn't sign this document because they had a chance to come and sign it but they didn't come into the Milan with us and that was early in the morning on Kaikirongo Maui Native Land Commissioner Sheriff of Waitangi Maui Court extended to all district courts that's in the country so they'll become um, courthouses for the native um, people Native Chief Commander King Tauru New Zealand Minister Waitangi Maui Maui Landlord so he's the landlord at that time Queen Victoria Trust so he's claiming the Queen Victoria Trust because he's a King Edward on the Queen Victoria Whakapapa bloodline. So that's him there. He's an Edward. His real surname is Edward, not Tauru. Because Mohi's told me he's not a Tauru. He's not. He's not a Tauru. He's a. He's a Edward. So there, he's got. He's got the Queen Victoria right, but they can't get the title. See, the trust is out all the Inkstones and all the Whakapapa blood. See, so there's something going there. So we're there to stick to the law so that you can go and claim all the wealth of the World Bank and with the Awaroa World Bank. That's where the World Bank thing is, the Awaroa Bank in Hurlburn. That's where that one came from. And then the trust was set up in England with Queen Victoria to uh, protect the natives and give them their share of the big crown. So there, that's one thing that King William left with here. That's why we have the Moai Crown King William IV Trust to go into that trust and seize the whole of of the lost land. Waitangi Moai, printed by Moai Crown King William IV Trust and Moai King William IV Party. I had a party running at that time for here and Britain, and Matt Taylor was running the Moai King William IV Party in Britain with his his own party. New Zealand Pacific Property Rights to His Majesty King William IV 1837 Act of Westminster Parliament in Fourth Law on the 15th of March April 2016 Legal Private Contract with Maui Native Chief of, of the New Zealand and Pacific Islands Native Land Titles as Saru in the Maui Crown New Zealand Pacific World King William IV, St. Patrick, UK, New Zealand, dual government. Um, set up in Kororareka, see? We set this up in Kororareka to London from there. The British Navy, Devonport in Auckland to Devonport in, um, in England, Plymouth, down there. Uh, UK, Devonport and Plymouth. Um, government, 
private contract partnership business with King G. Hongi Hika and T. Lightheaven, Seoul, Colorado, Taiwan, 30th of June, 1834, Captain Bill Lambert, acting the elevator gentleman John Kelly, as might be heard, on the 1st, 10th of, of April, 1834, Flagstaff. So there's the proclamation said on this court here in Shanghai. And here we come across the Whakapapa of Mori, put it together for those tribes. You can see right Taha is there beside the Moriori as the second one, a lion, king of lion. But then with this, there's a title to Rafa of the Manuka for that big block of land to the east coast and the west coast. On the 11th of, of November, we had a court here in Auckland and bringing up the Marae for this. On that day, on that day, to claim Rafa of the Manuka title to all that land block from Waiuku across across um, um, Bombay Hills, Pukekoe, over to Maraitai and the, the beach, you know, Maraitai Beach in Cleveland, as one title block cut into small blocks of land. Is him, this was the native land court title, the native court land court title, 18, 1862, was this chief Manukau that went from up north down to Waikato, and his marae was the Punga Punga Marae, pu, from pu, Puponga Marae, Puponga Marae, sorry, at Cornwallis, and his other marae was the Manukau Marae in Waiuku. So those two marae's names were changed. So, so everything was changed around. So there's Mori beside his carving that was found in the Kaipa. Had Huruhu um, growing on it all over the place and it was, it was tapu, it's still tapu, that, that carving. And uh, it's put away in safety and it's supposed to be to put the Maori government together, not the Maori government, the native government together. And, and they called it a whakamimina. That's that big half round circle there. With the, with the god in the middle, the Atua, and up right up the top on the left hand side is Ref Nati, the head of the whole tribe, the four Mori tribes, the head of it at, um, at Waitangi. So, so there, that's, that's that part that's missing from all your land titles, but that's a wooden carving of, of, of what Mohi Manuka interpreted for me to carry on the history and the title of that um, wood um, object against a Marae long-lasting stone object as memorial to the land. So there, um, that's where we're we going to now. We're supposed to be on 123. Oh, I've just gone past there, that one. So that one's out of the way. We're going to... Oh, stuck. Where am I going? Doing for a little. Uh, what up? Where are we at? Oh, I'll I'll just roll past. Oh, here, this one. Can you click? Can you click? And oh, uh, we should be on two. Have we gone? Got to two ninety yet? Um, can I? Where, where, oh, hang on, hang on. I might be skipping. Hang on, hang on. I got my paper here mixed up. Where, where? Hang on, just hold it, hold it there, hold it there. I've got, I've got the wrong one. I've got, I've got all my papers mixed up because I threw them all over the place. And now I'm mixed up. Where's that one, that one, that one? Got, I think I'll just go off and roll it along because all my papers are, oh, here they are. Oh, here, I found it now. So we should be on 162, one, what, what are we on now? 167. Okay, there we are, Mohi, birth certificate. So so we've gone past that, we can go past there. We, we, we carry on going to 9, 10, 11, 167. Oh, we've gone past there. 171. And man, we've got a long way to go. I've got to skip it. 171, we know this one. We, we know if this is 171, that's the court, native court hearing there with... with Bundy Waitai, still alive, and Manahi Marauni, but um, Hedewini Tata has passed away, he's gone. So that signed, they signed this Rewherewha Manukau title to get the lands back, 
under that native land title, precedent case for the whole country, came out of this chief here. So they are with me to claim this whole country from where it came from in the first place, here, from that deed there. So this deed here, 20, uh, number 2079, is what we're claiming and signed to. We signed to that deed. So there we're proclaiming and declaring that deed title to return to the people of New Zealand from a little bunch of natives, not the whole tribes on this island, just a few, just a few, just the right ones, and there we are. So we go to 171, which was a moment ago, well, 173, 173, we're trying to skip through these notes. I've got a lot of writing here, there, a lot, lot of writing notes on, on what I'm doing. How's this? Camera is still going. Yep, it's still going on the live on the Facebook that way. <coughs> so here are our group that started off with Frank McElhone in the middle there. And uh, I can see um, Lee Cant on the right hand side there. He's the accountant that's looking after the business um, of my powerhouse group limited in London. And who's that one on the right hand side? Is that John Patterson? Is that? I don't really know. That's in the middle of the flag on the right hand side there. And um, I've, I've, I've forgotten who's who now. And I can't remember who's who. Kaylee might be the one on the bottom there anyway. I, I'm not sure. Um, so anyway, um, we, we can skip part A. Eh? Yep. Yep. So this is the note that's going to bankrupt and liquidate all, all the corporations, including the Pope, is this big note here with the right king. There's your king there with that flag. That's the rightful king to the flag, not Charles. He doesn't inherit all these kings lined up. It's this king here. He's still alive in London. And so we put him in there. We, we put him back on the throne to go after all the stolen wealth from his king. His, his descendants and his son coming after him that's 32 so King Ernest Augustus here is about 69 or 70 now so um, getting close to my age um, so, so, so that's, the, that's our debtor instrument against Cindy Keller and, and um, Jacinda again in the WEF class show in the Bible that one's for you, this one here. And you, and that's British. This is British, and Jamie and I spent a lot of time thinking about how to put that together. So that's King Arthur there on the left hand bottom there. And um, um, that was, that was uh, um, Matt Taylor's King Arthur and, 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 and Daryl Payne, the American. That, that, that's a King Arthur. But I don't know how that fits in there, but it's there. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not too certain about how that fits into these king lines with the money. The money's on the right with King William the, the Fourth, and there's no money in King Arthur on, 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 on uh, corporations. He didn't put corporations together. So that's, that's, that's the difference I have between who's, who, who created the money in the first place who put that bank act together in the first place, King William III, and not King Arthur. Didn't do any of that. So there, carry on. We go, we go, um, 1776 Constitution. We just carry on going. That's just what we're saying to liquidate all their assets and everything. So we're going to go and skip to 187. The Corporations Act, 187. The Maori Party using our flag. This is the court case against them. What, one, what's that? 187. We, we're going to 187. Now we're going for time. Oh, yeah. Okay. We've, 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 we'll be hitting the 200 mark soon. So there's the Maori Party. You see what they're doing in the government? And Jacinda again, they are stuck with with each other, with that pound note between them, that's, I just put that there as a debtor instrument between those, those people running the government life. They're running 
wrote Dublin Street. Our friend there advertised as if fair Maori in Dublin owns it and, and has clear title to that flag and a native land court title that they can't string it together. This man here, Rauri, Rauri Waikiki, can't string a land title together. Neither can the Jimmy Packer. Neither can Jacinda Ardern string a native land court title to, together to claim that flag and can't even interpret the flag of what it really means. They can't. They can't put this together and, and, and say they were the ones it was given to. They can't interpret it. That's what I have against this Maori government and Georgie Dodd. They can't say what the meaning of this flag is that they're flying. None of them. Nobody can. Because it's none of their business. It's all secret stuff that they're not supposed to know about. Not even this government is supposed to have the use of it and not tell you. They're not disclosing anything to anybody about anything. And there's nothing you can do about it, Georgie Dodd against this government using that flag. It's only the native court, and they can't stop this native court from talking about it and putting them on in their faces on trial. There's nothing they can do about it. Um, we're on 198. So there, oh look, pictures moved. I saw the picture move down, and that's why I've lost the pound note. There, there's the Duterte there, and and I put him there to um, use his Act of Parliament in, uh, as a British um, uh, country. And uh, so I won't read any of that because I think I've been through in a previous court hearing. But I wanted to run this one across uh, again, notice to Cindy Kira and Jacinda Ardern a third time. So this is the third time and their strikes are up. You see, it only leaves the police and the Maori Party and um, and um, and um, the, the, the police Maori Party and who else and the trustees to come up against us with anything to say against what I'm saying. Otherwise, it makes the law. So there, we can we can carry on then to 194. Or oh, we can skip through things. I, s I see I'm jumping through my head now. It's important to identify how this court runs for everybody. Crimes against popular representation, crimes against legislative bodies and similar bodies. So we're using this for crimes against popular representation against Cindy Caro and Jacinda Ardern here. Crimes, we're using this legislation act here in all of this lot of art monitoring and training and so forth in the Philippines against crimes, against legislative bodies like you in government for yourselves and not the people, and similar bodies, your allies, WEF and Biden. This one's against the, from the Philippines Act under British law. Penalty to arrest a mayor or fine from 200 or oh, that's his fees there for anybody that breaks his laws, but we are in the trillion. They can't stop us from putting our price on things. That's our business. Apply to my town UK Federal State Congress prorogue the New Zealand government. So we're proroguing the government on the 28th of October into recess for up to three years until we can get a contractor to help us and borrow their army, uh, their navy, to come here to help us to arrest these people. Okay, so they get a big cut out of it. And at the same time we talk to Duterte, tell him, oh, we'll make a deal with all our gold you got there stashed up, which belongs to us. So if we're looking after it, we'll give you this much and leave it there if you got it safely stored up from anybody stealing. So there, that's our business, and why we go to Philippines as a British state. And, and so use all these acts against them, violation of parliamentary immunity. They have no immunity under the Pope's um, letter of Motu Propria and the penalty of prison. 
um, the, the mayor or anybody in, in parliament impose upon anybody who shall use force, intimidation, threats, death, all of that going on, threats against us, or take over, or sworn to prevent any member of the National Assembly Congress, that I'm saying at Waitangi, Congress, they got their own native Congress, or they're calling it a Maori Congress, or something else, if it's something else not native, it's not going to work. It's not going to work if it's Maori Congress, or, or Whakamanua Congress that's not in the British system. It's only in the United Nations system, the Whakamanua. So there, that's one you need to identify. And I'm making it clear um, to you, um, Gregory, that this is the definition of a native magistrate court full on. It's in full position to take this country back under these superior laws, Art 45, violation of parliamentary immunity. So they have no immunity and uh, penalty of prison uh, of yes, figure. So there, those, all of this lot is up against the government on 194 legislative body. That's important here. So we can go to 198, President Duterte, 198, 194 to 198. Um, hang on. 198, what does it say? Not the last I only did this at the last minute. Uh, I wrote this up at the last minute. Commission of another crime during service of punishment. Crimes against public interest. So that's what we're going up against. The interests of the public is what this court is all about. And uh, we're using the act of forging the seal of government of the Philippines forging the seal of the government so they're forging their seal of a of a queen fake queen and a fake Maori as as this one here forging the seal of the government they're forging a queen they they're, they're usurping a queen of England all these years and really didn't mean it they didn't really mean it because they were they were only got a picture of a queen and nothing connected to Britain. So there, that's that's the forging of a seal of the government of of New Zealand. See, of New Zealand in front of everybody, which is a crime. So they're forgery. They're forging the money of New Zealand dollar out of the fiat money, American dollar, which is fraudulent, and out of the fraudulent pound note of, of the Rothschilds, which the one bar is fraudulent. It's that is fraudulent counterfeiting and all of that in here against them uttering false coin in a person who makes imports or utters false money and in conniving the conniving and counterfeiters or importers shall suffer prison no so anyway we don't need any more there that's just all of those acts that we can apply are in red of what we're taking out of the Philippines yeah, we, we're not going to read this, we just skip over them. But everything in red is what we are using against this government tonight, in this court, again, again. So now we go to 203. Med medical, I've just seen medical, false medical, there. 203. Now, now don't, uh, carry on. I just saw your past, so it's got all that medical stuff in there, falsifying medical records. And this, um, not this, all their, all their medical fame, all their medical, and there's enough information on that. And funeral directors I've seen uh, are coming out with the truth about medical uh, manipulation of documents, of people's identity and medical records, um, not declaring the death properly and what they died of. Not, it's not natural causes, these things. So there's our flag with my signature on it to claim it, off these two thugs here that are using it illegally against the native confederation of chiefs and native people of New Zealand. So I've signed it on this document. These two are in trial already, and again tonight, the second time. The third time next week will be strike three, and they're out with that green pound note sitting on their flag against them as the authority we own. 
we own this flag legally and lawfully and legitimately given to us the natives, not Maori, not the Fifag, and not Jacinda Ardern and Maori Party. That's what I'm saying quite clear to everybody watching that this flag was given to native chiefs and no one else. Yep, so it was for just the few people and that not the whole bunch of hang around after that. You can say that quite clearly. It doesn't say anything like that in Britain about 500 people signing this flag when it was already done deal in 1831, a letter with a contract to say, I shall if you do, in exchange. That's what it is. It said, go ahead, pick a flag. See, when he said that, go ahead and pick a flag in 1831 letter, that became the contract to do something to save New Zealand from thugs and pirates and snakes. The black line in the, around the river cross is for snakes. See, that's its real meaning and British protection. If anybody gets in the road of our contract, trading um, around the world in those four corners, those four acorn stars, to pick up the earth in all the four corners of the earth for the crown, the big crown and us. We are party to that crown as much as the Freemasons with their certificate of title and their, their, um, their um, value worth in it and our value worth. I'm saying we should be 60% and, and, and the rest of them, the Fago, at 40% and we 60%. That's what I would say in that view of what wealth there is in the trillion. It's in the trillion. We can go anywhere up to this 970 million trillion trillion pound note. So there, the same sort of cross or emblem um, there, claim, we claim, hereby claim in this court belongs to the native people of New Zealand, Britain and the world, natives of the world, following us as the legal to claim what legally and lawfully and legitimately belongs to us and not the corporation which this flag is a corporation flag for us the corporation not them so there yeah, that clears that up these two thugs here and all what they're doing is illegal and forbidden from using our flag anymore because it's now on your head the debt instrument is on your head and you can cash it after the 28th of October 2022 in this court hearing tonight and seize Cook Street land and every other land that has a crooked title. You can seize the whole lot back off the corporate thugs and all those millionaires and trillionaires that have come here from America to hide away their wealth. We can uncover the whole lot with the shirt and go straight in and seize the whole lot before this WEF comes and seizes everything off you and your own nothing and be happy. If you, you're happy with that, then that's what Jacinda Ardern's government is and where the Maori government and the Whakamininga is on that side to make your minds up what you're going to do. Because we know what we're doing. It's you. Are you, are you. Do you know what you're doing? Your leaders of, 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 of the Maori government and the Whakamininga? Do you legally know what you're doing? And so I haven't heard anything back about it other than on the 28th of October 2022, there would probably be people coming across to Kororareka in the King Street Native Court and have a look to see if they fit or not or what they're going to say and, and, and go from there. We just take it Kanoi to Kanoi, face to face, after all this absence of time I've been away from Tiki Marae since 2017, this proclamation of King, and those other, um, those other people that were inside Waitangi Marae, including the Maori government that didn't sign nothing. They didn't commit to this native magistrate court. So why do you think I'm going to let them come in and sign any of these documents after doing no work? no work and want things for free no not absolutely not for free 
if you're still in that system, it's not going to work because it's corrupted. Everything you've got Maori on is corrupted. You didn't corrupt it. The people in government corrupted it. So there, it's not going to work. Really, in, 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 in to Britain, which still has title over this country, it's very difficult for you to try and get it off Britain. And even King Tuhaka going to the funeral of King, Queen Elizabeth II and been died for four years now, and they, the fool to go there and go to a funeral that's been faked and made up and try and claim in New Zealand. It ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. Really. So here, we're on, what page we're on? On 198. We should be on 2003. Two, two, well, we've been 2003. We're going on to, we're going on to uh, 2003 and condemn New Zealand corporate government action. 2005. Yeah, we condemn them, the government, and, and what they're doing with our flag and with our land and with our country and with our people. It's going all horrible. It's going into horrible, from bad to worse. 2005 to Mohi Manukau, 2005. From this was, this was just the letters to Whakamalinga, a bit about the Whakamalinga and a letter to Manahi and he acknowledged what the Confederation is doing in this letter to to Manahi and um, that he supports what we're doing and he still supports what we're doing and the titles of the birth certificates with Rangitukia the St. Mary's Church in Rangitukia where the first birth certificate titles were put together in 1831 with my own Wanoa Bishop and the car bishops, the Rapata car family bishops, put with that lot together. Okay, so there, that's a bit about that connected to us in 1831. There's a map there of the East Coast and those put together by the government and their and how what year they turned up in East Coast um, um, afterwards the 1840 treaty and they come second second nature. Or, or second, and 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 uh, and and this um, this Clendon went down there and put all the, the um, birth certificates together for the whole country and the world for that matter came out of there and the Saint Mary's Church in Parnell in Auckland slipped over the road beside the Church of England. This is when that the Pope and the Queen joined two churches together, the Church of England. And the Catholic Church was right here in Parnell in Auckland, New Zealand, where they married up together, and and their corporate business, and all of the, all of their church business went together there, in that year that happened. So there, um, okay, we can move to, two, two thousand five, two two hundred and five. We're gonna get along a bit here. Um, two thousand five. What does that say? 2005, and so uh, state jurisdiction boundary area of Rapiti. Now, if that's 2005, keep going. Maori and temporal history doesn't stack up. 205, so we can keep rolling past there. That's 205. Now, carry on going. Go to 2012. 212. We'll, we'll try and skip a few pages up here. The Rogan, two, 212. This is where the titles were split up with um, that map that just went past. And Auckland was right down the east coast where I'm from at that time. So there's Mohi's Whakapapa. You can blow it up. That's the best I've got because I can't find the original word document so I can make a clearer one. And uh, But that's his legacy. I'm carrying on his legacy. Oh, there you can read. You can you can read what he did. And there's that carving on the left-hand side, which didn't come out at the time. I was in a hurry and just left it like that. And um, so that's that carving of the four main tribes and Rapuri. And, um, um, and um, mm, uh, yeah, that's that. 
and that's his interpretation of all that um, people put together and I've got my wine or one in the, in, in down the bottom in purple the Rosen, Vic Rosen the, the, the crown, British crown went straight from my family because they knew my family is connected to uh, Raiate Island in Tahiti and the law in the Maori there law and East Island uh, Maori law L-A-R-E and so that's where it fits just there with the Rosen, Vic Rosen from the East Coast married Oraiki Wainoa and, and John Rosen married Marae Manukau and that's more he was his um, Three Nations um, regalia on to claim this Three Nations whakapapa to that Aoroa Native Magistrate Court with this and he signed it at the bottom and I signed it as well and on the back there's another one somewhere I didn't put it in, I forgot to put it in, where all the other chiefs from uh, um, from Ragu and the real Kafu, Ross Connor Kafu, signed the back of it and my Mohi's brother and my brother was there too, Willie, William E. Wano, he was there, he signed it and um, and Chick Karaka, he came up from from um, Tiaro, he was there, so he was there for it as well and also Becky Mangas in, in Kaipara Harbour um, up there they came down from there and so we all agreed on the whakapapa that's at the back of it and I should have put it there I can slip it back in where where they they drew a whakapapa and then that goes in the back of Mohi's interpretation of his Moriori that's a Moriori original native title put together by original Mohi Manukau and Utitong, Hare Utitong, the two oldest names on this country here, those two names. There, the, it's not the cart before the horse, it's the horse before the cart in this whakapapa that doesn't go flying here, there and everywhere, all over the place. He's come down from himself there and those chiefs, that Tainui, Mapuhi, Arawa, Te Arawa and everybody else comes with one or at least one of those um, um, tūpuni and you can see why Taha there second behind the Orokuko Waka Orokuke Waka was from Chatham Island or Rekui where, where the Manukau's came from and they used to come here as their basket of food and go back home to Chatham Island and that's where Waitangi came from there to Waitangi up north not the other way around it didn't come from Waitangi to go over to Waitangi over there. And those Solomons are not real natives. They are not real Moriori natives. They are Pākehā natives. Just like the other one here. The Māoris are all mixed up back to front. That's why they can't speak Moriori. Because this flipping government has stuffed them up for good. Stuffed everybody and put the, each other against each other. And that's what it amounted to today. And you're going to put a sock right through the middle of it and just close your eyes and sign this damn thing and let's get on with it and move on and use the Crown note against the South and Pirates. 212. So there's um, Mohi's affidavit. I better read this affidavit out on this hearing tonight so that we're clear on his title to that Awaroa Native Court in Hellington. Mohi Wilimu, uh, affidavit, sworn statement by Mohi Wilimu to Mati Manukau, date 15th of September 2006, 2008, or 6, 2006 or 6 p.m. See how long ago we, we were putting things together? This is for that carving, that, that carving that you'll see in a minute. I, Mohi, Mohi Wilimu to Mati Manukau, date of birth 29th September 19. 110 AD, make this statement today in front of John Hawaiian Kaki Wano in Aruhi of Aruhi, Auckland, and Rita Manukau of Nancy as true and correct. That's his daughter. Te Tau, Te Tau and Fano were brought into the district of Rewhi O Takanini and Awaroa, Awaroa, nay Helen Hill, by my great grandmother. Tarawa Kiwara, who was brought there as a gift to marry my great-grandfather, Te 
Mati Malakal, for the good work he has done and done for helping the people of our name in Northland. He has already married his three wives, and because of his mana, he acquired a third wife with help. A fall. I am the result of his marriage to Sarawa Kiwara that makes me the fourth Kemati Manukau in the direct line of succession of 12 generations of Reka Reka Manukau, 1760 AD, or was named after my great 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 grandfather Kemati Manukau. Therefore, I consider myself the legitimate right in claim mana whenua over all the areas of land where you call of Reniki Marae, Mohe, Te Kau U, Te Kau, his ancestor and he partly call Paora and Ru, 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 Rohe Oraki and Tupere, tu, tu, Peri, Tupere, his ancestor. These whānau owned the land by concession only and monopoly of the government. They do not own the land by right, but I do. So I consider their whānau hapu to be foreigners, overstayers, caretakers and slaves. That monopoly, Ngāti Pātou o Oraki Māori Trust Board, is illegitimate and should be removed of the position and replaced with our Maori origination organization Na Nati Pa Atua Hapu Trust Board Incorporated immediately now that we can prove Papa Papa Mana Whenua to all these land areas Rohe. I stay here therefore in is to claim clear title ownership to the land as successor to my four paramount chiefs and ancestors, Akurahama Taonu and his son Oreka Ngāpuru Ngāti Pātua tribe, Tāpuru the giant Aotea tribe, Tamate Katua and his son Tuhera Matata and his son Tuhenga Arawa tribe, Te Awaikato Karaherehenga Awaikarei tribe, my claim is over the areas that these wise lands are seeking, seeking as claim which still belongs to me apart from Y121, which is my claim I now hold. I claim these wise claim areas initially until my legal native council investigates the balance of the rest of all these claims within the Ngāti Pato boundary area from Hiroshima Harbour, Northland, Manukau Village to Whainaroa Harbour, Raglan, in the south, uh, south Y106, Y1279, Y1302, Y1312, Y1394, Y1508, Y1046, Y1063, Y1127, Y1128, Y1146. These claims are only in the areas of Kaipara, Wellingville, Ririki, Orirake and Waiuku. I am asking you, the Waitangi Tribunal, to enforce my proof of claim to these areas and what I it covers to usually govern Parliament. Then I want all my land reinstated back to me. I am awaiting the Treaty Settlement Negotiator Mark Burton and his manager legal policy strategist Rachel Holbrook of the Office of the Treaty Settlement to meet me on Monday 12 on the 18th of September 2006 to settle these claims in public hearing filling the War Memorial Hall that's where we had our court hearings yes, all the time the Tau and Tupere Tu Pariri is not the right ancestors or mana whenua within the Kaipara homes of Tūnu, Orake, Auckland City area region. The Wai Ohu, Wai Ohu, Hua, Wai Ohua, Wai One Two Three One families are not the mana whenua for Waiuku, Port, Port Waikato, and are Hiti Rohe. 
and what I and our teachings all belong to my great great grandfather Tumati Manaka but they took his name off it and put theirs on it it used to be called Manaka Marai I want my Tupa Marai and his Manaka who are back now will you tell my children that I want my Marai and my land back here in Orake I often wonder how Phil Kafu got his name Kafalu their uncle who adopted him his name was Kafalu Paora Paul Kafalu Paul who married a white woman I had the pleasure of meeting her during her visit to the family home at the Rewiki I often wonder if they could whakapapa to my tūpuna Kafalu the gun they also proudly announced themselves the Tano of Tupahuru and Hapu of Tetawi from the district of Awamuru in Aitaya who have reservations about the Y756 train person. Hapu Moa Moe Manaka and then signed Tumati Manaka Moe Manaka witness by Mano of Sahasivani Tita Manaka. So there, that's his statement of that Marae Awaroa Native Magistrate Court land that he says belongs to his tūpuna and we've got all the information more than what we've got here showing you stacked up in all my books you know, of citations and everything citation of facts of evidence Saturday of 13th May 2017 Auckland, New Zealand Karama Chief Moe Tumati Manaka Freemason was sworn, sworn to secrecy under the Masonic Freemason Scottish Rights Oath not to disclose information about his title to his family Moriori Hapu as the President of the Chiefs of the Tribes of the Confederation of Northern Tribes 13 Chiefs never to disclose the 13 Chiefs 1834 flag until November 4th and the Freemason Lodge in Edinburgh, Scotland, Britain UK was in Japan unfortunately Moe told me everything about the Masonic Lodge and its organisation and how the Scottish required, acquired his paramount chief Manaka Moriori native land custom title inheritance information and spiritual connection to his ancestral recital to Karakia which he practised as a Rahina a Hotero minister to overshadow his Masonic land title transfer a system role as a native land court surveyor Peg Martin that was his position with his great 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 grandfather employed by his uncle Freemason Lodge Master Judge John Logan in Hill Native Court as a Masonic Lodge minister of Paramount Chief Tumati Manaka for legal authority to conduct admiralty meetings under King William IV British 1834 Native Flag Sovereign Authority jurisdiction and his 1862 British Constitution which was exchanged by New South Wales New Zealand Government in 1986 that was Mohi was he was off why he formed the confederation Mohi created the confederation of chief tribes of Waitaro in 1895 to head off New Zealand Crown changing his 1862 UK constitution into a 1986 New Zealand constitution then illegal that's why I'm standing this hearing tonight illegal 1986 Mohi passed on to me all his Freemason used as a blueprint for all other New Zealand links to his home country, Reku Teramai. The Manukau Company legally registered in Edinburgh, Scotland, created the Manukau Certificate of Native Land Transfer Deed title created in Scotland by record of the Manukau in 1820 to 1830 pairs, William IV reigning monarch, sovereign. 1830-1837 period set the benchmark precedent of the New Zealand transfer New Zealand titles from Manukau native land title to British King William IV title between 1834-1840 the 1834 flag of New Zealand was granted to the Freedom Chiefs and Manukau Company British title land Okeata native court in Kororaka roughly so there yeah, that's information enough to say that we have the right to go on that land block at 
terms of and recite everything that they're saying here on this court hearing tonight and um, um, Philip Te Awhiti can pick from here what he can say um, from what he's got on the website if he can get it from there and, and, and hook his mobile phone into a internet somewhere there on the site and look at the documents and, and all that and pick up court. So these are just information of who owns the titles and who put them together and which family were chosen by the British. The Waimea family and the Manukau family outright. That's the end of that one. The Moai and the Manukau flag. That flag, that's the Confederation flag and not a Whakaputanga flag in this business of courts and banks. So there, enough of that. Enough of that. We'll go to where am I? Where's my paper? I'm going to chuck them out of the way now. One eighty nine ninety five. Yes. Where did I put them? I should have put them down somewhere and I got lost. What page are we on now? Two hundred and fifteen. Man, we gotta get a move on. One, two, three, four, five, six, two. 194, 203, so that's 30, 30, law of both of them, 203, from that year then, 205, where's the, where's my chart, 204, no, that's that one, 15, uh, 213, have we got to 200, uh, 215, 219, go to, go to 219, we'll just flip through these, and then we'll charge on through 219. There's the carving. This is the main four tribes of Ngāpui that was, that they are the Atua, the spirit of Ngāpui leading the westward Aparahama Tomori in this um, supposed to be a whakaminina, but it never got off the ground. And Mohi said, no, they're not ready for it. They're not ready for this. And it's supposed to be a native government, not a Maori government. He didn't have anything to do with Maori government and all of that. And so that's the interpretation of this carving that I've shown in the Tatra as our title to the Awaroa native land there. And this this here is a memorial to that business. The business end of that flag is right there with this spiritual, that circle, semicircle is parliament. That's supposed to be the Whakaminia and Ngāpui and the, and the Atua in the middle of the Marae. That's the noa of the wā, noa, the noa of the L-O-R-E, noa in the middle. Leave all your Whakapura, leave all your, your rauru rauru at the gate. Don't bring your, 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 your agendas, hidden agendas onto the Marae. And those are all the chiefs lined up there around that semicircle and all the hapis around the country. And then you've got all the Fano, which is the, those pillars, four pillars, all those bits going between, building the, the hapus up to the, to the chiefs on that, that there. And Tangaroa is at the bottom, that, that angle going up all to the right is Tangaroa, the sea god, and the, the eye at the bottom is Tangaroa of the sea god. And this is, this is, this is the chiefs in the middle there. And that circle on the right is a crown, the British crown, coming in to the Marae. And the other circle there is, 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 is the other chiefs all coming in together from all the different rohes and, and, and tribes coming there together and then forming from that circle, little circle there, with the British on the right, into the Whakaminia circle and semicircle there to form the government that's supposed to have happened way back when when Mohi was alive in 2000 um, and, and um, 1985 and onwards to around about 2008 when we did Cook Street. All of this rot was gone flat out with Mohi and me. When we went after Cook Street with his land, wanted his land back, like how I've just read out his affidavit, he wanted his land back to the Moriori in the first place, on the first part of that whakapapa 
um, of his Orutaka, or Orutuka Waka that came from Karamara to here. So in that direction, the British went straight to Chatham Island first before they came to New Zealand. They knew they'd go there first from the Cook Islands, then go to the Chatham Islands, then come here, because they knew the Manukau would go there. See? So that's how that works. And there's, um, this is Tony Manukau signing there on the right column. He signed his brother. His brother signed that at the time. And we were having this all in the Manurewa Marae. And um, well, he forgot to sign it. And anyway, he's got his his, um, his brother signed it. And um, yeah, that's that's that. That's so you know, so so you know what I'm talking about. Of which, where's your title to the native land that you've got the Maori trouble? Where, where, where's yours to stack beside this lot? Mm -hmm. So there's something for you to think about in Whakamania. Where is your memorial? To the land you've got the popos there in the paddock those are those are right though those are memorials to your tukuma this is more here to the whole lot of you see it's not just him it's everybody see so you've got the god there at the tongue at the bottom that i there that's the atua for all the sea um in the pacific this this is all the sea in the pacific islands and um and the polynesians here uh, around um, Chatham Islands and all the rest, but that's that's m the way Mohi put it in that carving. That was hidden away from the British getting hold of it and destroying it. So it was all the canoes, all the wakas were were buried in the sea, and in in, in um, to hide them away from enemies pinching them, destroying them. So this one was saved, and, um, and just as that was found to stick him to that land block in Kaipara and this is what I'm putting in this court tonight to claim that um, that land with all these memorials um, native the same will be in Ireland they'll have their memorial to the land so they'll be the same as us in Ireland and then use our court here uh, over there and practice using the British law and try to recover the military back to Britain and kick those thugs out of Parliament like what they're doing here in New Zealand. Hold them all out of the way with the flag and um, and, um, and and the power note. There, those two instruments are very powerful right there. And so now we go to two, what's that, 220, the next page. What have we got there? The Confederation of Chiefs. There's, there's, there's what me and Mohi put together to claim the whole of New Zealand. Uh, you know, I had to blow it right up to read the bloody thing. So we, we, we spend hours putting this all together of a native title in our own way of putting it and all the links to this and that and everything. I won't go over that, but just to show you that's our country title back of a native land title um, that Mohi and I put together laboratory over a long period of time of writing this and that and, and reciting everything that he's telling me to interpret what he's saying and writing everything for him. So there, that was like a scribe to put titles on things um, according to the Freemason way of doing it. And this is to the Freemason. This is our title to the whole of New Zealand in one page. That all, I always like to jam all the information on one page and pull it right up. You'll see my documents go right to the edge and when you bind it up, there's not much room for the left. Lawyers like spaces on the left and right so they can write and no, there's no space for lawyers in this document. There's no space for any lawyers on my documents. It's full right to the top, right to the edge. <laughs> so that's the way I think put things together. So we are on page um, going to um, we read the letter out on the police. It's the police case next. So they're they're getting close to being on trial on the second count second count of a notice that they haven't responded and it's getting up in days now they haven't responded even a short sentence to say John we, we acknowledge what you're giving us and we'll do something about it or not. Nothing. 
absolutely dio. Um, so there it called out the page. There, that's that's the website that you go to the Governor General and it's got page cannot be found. When you click onto their government Governor General page, nothing. It, it's starting to disappear like thin air, like where they came from, thin air. If you go to their government website, page not found. That's all you get. So what does that tell you? What does that really tell you of what they're doing in there? There's no, no, there's no credence to what they're doing there for us when they got pages like this that can't be found. They can't be found because they're shifting the goalposts all the time. So there, 232 next. We go to page, there's some videos you can watch of them on the mystery that's next. This is the police complaints that they have an answer to. So that's on trial again tonight against the police not responding. So they're, they're on trial tonight as being uh, complicit in supporting the corporations and not us. It's just showing you. It's just showing everybody in the world what they are there for and what we have to do to contact somebody else if they don't reply and respond to us. 232, is that 232? Tuesday's court, the police commissioner. This is the, I won't read the letter. I'll just skim over it. But this is my identification of who I am and my credentials of being capable as a businessman in good health, reasonable health, to conduct a business this size and scope. So, so there, I'm in a, I'm out of a mental state that they put me into, and 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 that's another case against all those people in the hospitals that you know about, Andy. That all those people's names are there that put their names in the court that went up against me to make sure I was going to be dead and no longer be around when he's there and managed to get out of it thanks to my brother Lee for coming to save me out of the hospital and put me under his tikanga of his um, authority on our marae in Tiara Rua and I give him that much I'm, 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 I'm thankful to him to save me otherwise I would have been still drugged up like hell and uh, and uh, getting worse by the day and they still jailed me when I was down the east coast for a long time after that so that sucked out up to three years of u um, uselessness to do anything and that's when Lady Crown came along and, um, and used my documents to try and get it through the government but that didn't get anywhere so now I'm back with my documents again to go with them and do something um, something um, mysteriously or, or some miracle with them to, um, to fix the problems up that I'm qualified as a mechanic to fix problems up of any magnitude that problem solving is not a problem for me. So there, that's my qualification as a qualified mechanic um, to problem solve and problem fix. So there, so there, carry on, roll on. All, all you'll see here is my background in the industries I've been in, just to clear up who I am and the coat of arms from Ireland of my two families there, the Rogans and the Cosgrove Lloyds. Australia was a Cosgrove, he was a, a man, Governor General of Australia, that Cosgrove guy, and so he looks like me, and um, a bit of resemblance, but I've never got an answer from him, you see, so they are ignorant to talk to me. No one wants to talk to me. And so that's okay. I don't need to talk to anybody. I just carry on. Just like David Strait said, he don't, don't, don't say anything. That's what he said. Don't say anything. So there I am in real estate to know what to do about real estate and fly planes. Um, and that's not a problem either. So there, if I want to get around quick from one place to the other, that's what I'll be doing. I'll be getting a helicopter to get around quick, around the country, and um, have business meetings or anything like that. I won't, I like flying, so, and diving, scuba diving, but I don't know about that one. But certainly, to get up to help, uh, help enough help to fly there. And there's the gas certificate there, just the one before that, Andy. That's for gas conversions and vehicles there. 
So that's why I'm so passionate about gas, hydrogen economy with that certificate and, um, and the alternative fuel stack one day. I've got a ticket in gas conversion and anything to do with hydrogen and all the rest with Kevin Lewis um, from Tauranga. He will be looking after the tidal turbines and the hydrogen economy and uh, instead of me, but he's, um, he's a Viking. He's a Viking, I tell you. And there's my certificate for stretch limousine for building them and for running a limousine company. Back then, a 12-seater that was longer than a, li than a Lincoln at then, but now they got long ones that don't look nice. I don't like the limousines now. They don't look like new limousines. So there, that's a bit of me. And then we're back to the Pope again. And the gold, there, that um, gold dragon against the red dragons of the Rothschilds and all those families up there in England, um, Britain, UK, you've got that um, God's earth um, um, dragon up against you. So there, we've, we've, there, I've just run through the, um, the accounts of Pope uh, Francis again, but I won't say anything, just go straight past those. And so they're there, really marked out this time. I've said them before, but these are real marked out. So these are up against the government on the 28th. You've got all this stacked up against you. You've got everything stacked up and thrown at you. And there's nothing you can do about it. And even Whakamenea can't go this far. Whakamenea can't do this. You have to do this in your own court and not in the government's court because you get caught up even in the law court. You're caught up with all those WEF. They'll say, no, sorry, you, you go to the United Nations and sort your problems out there. Don't come here because we can't see you on the list there as being a title holder. So there, that's, that's all that. So where's your title? The, the last question, and you have to expect to answer them. Don't come and get a native title and borrow it from here and think you're going to go and do it for free. No, it's got a big tag placed on it. And if you do something wrong with that flag, you, you, you will get a pound note. You already got a pound note on your head anyway. So there, you can't get that one off your head that quick and try and sign them documents to try and get yourself out of it. No, you're in there because you broke these laws of this court, Kirby Dodd and Alfred Mitchell and all those other ones that tried to get rid of me and make me get into trouble and punch Alfred so that I end up in trouble. See, it's gone against you. And I'll never forget that. I'll never forget what you fellas did to me and your incorporations did to me. There are good incorporations and there are bad incorporations amongst Maori. You've got a problem, Maori. You have a big problem with Jacinda Ardern's Maori and your Maori to try and bring them all together. And that's what I'm trying to do bring everybody together, not just a huffy here and a huffy there, and a whakaminia here, and, and without the list of New Zealand, that's occupying the land, you can't get them off because of international law. You can't remove anybody off the land without instruments. Yeah, so there, that's the problem I, I, I have with everybody. I have a big problem about that. 2.33, Andy, what, what are we on? What are we on? We've got to get to the 300 yet. Two, oh, we're on 250, that's good. 16, 17, 17. And we should be on, we should be on 241. 241. 241. Oh, yeah, just go there anyway, because I, I saw something. Just can't make it properly. Seize Cook Street. 240. Oh, oh that's all that meant. To seize Cook Street with this. Um, um, yeah, now carry on, carry on. I just wrote something there, um, and uh, I haven't got time to go over any more of that. Go to 242, or oh, we should go straight past 242 and go straight to 250. 250, is that 250? No, 250. I just want to point some, some bits out, that's all. What's this one? Is that 250? Mm. Uh, PDF files affidavit is up on the website. There's corruption. Carry on down the bottom of it. I think there might be something at the bottom of it. 
capitalize and get flags. Two flags, fine. That was the problem there. Two flags, fine. So we'll skip over that. So that's that's where I wanted to point out the, 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 why there are two flags flying, one for the Whakamununa and one for the Confederation. One's got the money and one's got nothing. So so there, we've, we've gone past 250 to 261. Two two sixty one. Two sixty one. What two six what two sixty one say? Two sixty is this two sixty one? Agenda. Oh, oh this is I won't I won't I won't talk anymore because it's you must read what's what I wanted to talk about um in in this this uh, Zoom hearing. On uh, again tonight on the 1st of October so please file and Prime Minister ANZ Bank check to see if they have pound notes uh, still in there uh, we, we, we don't need to do that um, we don't need to but for you to read oh here there five Declaration of Independence Day 28th of October 2004 flag and Confederation of Independence and, and Chiefs of Kororareka Russell celebration flag Mike Hill 5 a.m. In the morning, Governor General of the Chief Kororareka Marama at Kaukakai Hapu and uh, local community Wapendi. So, you might skip on through to um, 262. These are the seals that what these all these seals we're using on our documents mean, I won't say anything, is that for you to read, so I've got an explanation for each of the seals, so just roll past them and you, you won't bother reading them because I, 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 want to, I want to get through it. That's the Moai seal. It's got water in it, water board, for all the water in the world to claim all the water back with the water money and the tidal turbine, hydrogen economy and the water power of the city. So there, that's that seal for the gold dragon, for the missing gold and seizing all that back. And there's the great seal of Britain King William III's got one, and King William IV had his one. So that's what that means, and this is what this Admiralty flag means here. So there, we've got meaning for everything around these documents, seals against this government here, and their fancy picture on the wall that means nothing against all these seals you're seeing here, and what they mean, and there's the Parliament there where we get our authority from the House of Lords, and not the Parliament, from the House of Lords, and there's some meaning with the Maui statue on the flag, to claim the flag to the Pacific, there's the Maui statue, and, the, and that flag, the red part of that flag is the Marae, coloured, the colour, dark red, and there's that one, it's reinforced, there's Maui and the tidal turbines in the Pacific Islands, 60 of those bridges in, right throughout the Pacific Ocean as economy for the Pacific people, Polynesian people, that's your economy, with just where, where, where the bridges say, where are you going to put the money? And that's where it's going. And all them bridges where the planes, hydrogen powered planes, land on and take off. And the military can hop from one to the other, go around the world for next to nothing. So there, there's a meaning um, um, agenda, or there's a, a, some more agenda, but, but carry on. That's some more of this agenda what I wanted to talk to tonight I put them all together so there's plenty there of what what we're talking about in this court there's a whole heap of things 12 things there of what this court is talking about for you to have a look and learn how how this court runs for Ireland and all the other countries following us in the lady so there that's what 267 all we're getting there 267, got a few pages left. 267. Two, well, carry on to 270. To, to go to, to uh, yeah, 19. We should be on 278. 274. Two, 274. Court case against the Waitangi National Trust Board. Yeah. 274 onwards. So this is the Waitangi National Trust on trial again tonight as a second strike and all those people there, their names are there on trial with a trillion pound on their head each. 
and there's nothing they can do about getting out of it. So there, that's, that's, and, and just go down a bit more. There, there's all their names there. I won't say the names because we'll, we'll skip past. And their names appear with their photos uh, against against the, the Waitangi Tribunal for putting all these false um, false um, forfeiture for, forgery forgery and counterfeiting um, of, of documents um, from certain criminal organisations caught against these name Crown Agent Private Corporation trustees found guilty as charged with Great Britain pound one trillion pound note debt instrument on their head that Pope Francis has a property stake theory that all corporations and trusts are destroyed and those running them liable for prosecution and no immunity to any name photograph identified criminal here listed in this native magistrate Kingston Court bank hearing. Waitangi National Trust Board consists of criminal organization of New Zealand law less government that I've never read private corporation as liable cr criminals prosecuted in this British law court. So they're practicing British law in this court tonight and always and they are found guilty and prosecuted and charged and fined. So there we are, I'll say their name, Peter Peterman, a member of the family of the mighty Kawaki chair. He's the first one with a trillion pound on his head for running this business as associates to the Tinder appearing government, corporation of themselves, Tanya Simpson, a member of the family of Pomare, po Palma, see, you see, you see, deputy chair, so there, those, those two, then Nga Wai Hona, Peter Paul Paki, a representative of the Maori people, see, there's the Maori people living in the North Island, south of the city of Auckland, so there, that's from the Tainui area, the king, daughter I think, for Dame Claudia Orange, a person prominent in the life and country as a statesman. She wrote all the stories up and they and she tried to go and get the money out of the trust and got got away with uh, fourteen million, but that's all she got. And the rest she couldn't get. So she was not a native. That's the problem with them. Five, Dennis McBeerty, a representative of Pākehā residents of the Bay of Islands district. See, so they got themselves lined up. I don't see too many Māoris in there, or too many natives in there, only Māori. Um, Honourable Kate Wilkinson, a representative of the people, Pākehā and Māori living in South Island. So there, and they've got the South Island covered. Then you've got Honourable Penny Henry, a representative of the Maori people living in North Auckland Peninsula. He's the Minister of, of the Armed Forces. See, so they've got him tied up with the Armed Forces and he won't answer my letters to help us before. And so he's ignorant of, of us and a traditional native title. And it is Blaikum with the flag. Dame Fletcher, eight, she's the eighth one a member of the family of the late Archdeacon Henry Williams. So there, they're, they're all there as Maori. Lisa Harris, a member of the family of the Tamaki Wakanene. Unfortunately, he's gone on that side because that's the way they run their business. So he cops it and on, on the Wakanene side. So there, he's on that um, Queen's Bench Court side. Now they, they're confused as to a King's Bench Court under King Charles when Charles is not even a flipping king yet um, and hadn't put his hand on the stone in Scotland to swear his oath to the crown that he'll never do that because I can tell his mother never never did that. She had a coronation that wasn't real. She didn't put her hand in the right place and plenty of people know about that one. Urimu, Kuriri, a member of the family of Pone Heke. So there, he's, he's another one, complicit with Justin Ardern and, 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 and Cindy Kira. Hugh Cotherill, a, a representative of the family of the late James Busby. So, so there, the majority of people are European in, in, that, in that, that trust. Willow, Jean Prime, 
appointed by the Prime Minister to represent the government. See, so they just get up a majority of white faith people in there. Dr. Shane Wakey appointed the leader of the opposition following consultation with the leader of each party that is not in government or in coalition with the government. So you've got lawyers in here amongst this lot and they, they can't do anything about what I'm doing because I'm acting like a lawyer with the right British laws that they don't follow the law. These, fellow, these lawyers don't follow the law. Only legislation. David Dun Dunchief, the representative of the family of the late Edward Gibbon Wakefield. So there. That's him. There's his title there. Public Service Commission. So there, he's got a prominent position there in that Waitangi National Trust board that gets the trillion pounds on their head each in this court tonight and the pound note will be cashed up against you back into the hands of the native people of New Zealand and the world for that matter because you're splitting it all up down the middle in Britain and those people in Britain are partners and that's where I set up the bank the My Powerhouse Bank in Britain, in, in Westminster City, with Andy and all the rest of them there, a new lot of people, because we don't know who was left out of the old lot, and David Ellison is one that was there all along and financed me at the airport and waited for hours and hours and hours, and, and 14 hours I was held up at the airport, and then they had to pay for all the things for the parking and then go home because they wouldn't let me in the country because of the Queen and what she's told that made big cotton was stories about me being there to pick on the Queen when I wouldn't even hurt a fly. I'm there going to replace her as the head of the trust and still there's no head of our trust there who what I what I want to go with the, the uh, President uh, Duterte of, of the Philippines to sort out that lot and, and with the King of Spain to sort out that part with um, Ernest Augustus V will have a part of that part in, in, in Spain um, on his title there to the trust that's still alive. So there we go. The Confederate Chiefs 20 legal instruments inside this King William Four flag. So there's a description of, I won't say this, of 20 legal instruments that nobody ever thought about. Of how powerful that flag is, that this government read it and said, oh, shucks, we'll, we'll, we'll take this, because it, that's really what it's saying. And uh, we checked that with Britain, and yes, that's right. That's what it's saying. So, so we're going to own it because nobody else is doing it and they're in the position because you're running the government for these silly people in New Zealand that gives us content all the time and so we're going to just go with it ourselves and, and forget about everybody and, and not thank John at all. We're just going to use it until he catches them and puts a big dick pound note on their head and takes the whole lot off them with these instruments in the flag. So that's more going for anything about the power of that flag they're using in this court tonight and all our court hearings. This is number 24 court hearing on Zoom in front of the whole world witnessing what I'm saying here is real, that this 1840 Queen Victoria Trust and Birth Certificate Security Bond Trust, the Chief of the Confederation was audited, settled, wound up and bankrupted in 2023 the sooner the better that we put our own physical pound note and digital currency together with the value of human thugs and pirates as equity and, 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 and as, as collateral uh, against their properties and their birth certificate and whop the pound note right on their head, a trillion pounds on each one's head and then the balance, this little crown here pays and then the big crown in, in, Queer, um, in, in, in Prince Charles can pay the balance of that trillion pound note on each one's head. 13,000 police got a trillion pounds on each of the head. I warned them on, 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 on Cook Street 
that if they interfered, I would put a trillion pounds on each of the head and a penalty for every day that they didn't settle with me doing my work as a native assessor and a debt collector and um, everything I'm saying I am, I am. So there, they've got that with the police to worry about. And that's the only way to dismantle their crown and their corporate system is to go bang with the big notes. And the bigger they are, the better they fall, the harder they fall. So there, there's someone, it's the Confederation of Chiefs, Sovereign Nation Flag of New Zealand. It's still a live contract between Sir William IV, British Crown and Queen's Crown Corporation Business Partnership contract. So there, that's, that's another one. There's plenty of them. There's plenty for you to see on the 28th of October 2022 just how much we're saying what the flag is in our business and this court tonight. So there, yeah, I won't say anything. I won't, I won't, I won't say anything we'll, because we'll move on. We've got a bit more to do. And we've got a few more pages. We, we're on page 19. So we're just about there. Page 19. Um, yeah, so there's, there's that. I've already seen that before. There's the flag and its eight-point star that those monarchs are wearing. And they've got their own eight-point star, but they still cover it over as if they have the right to the eight-point star of St. Patrick. They don't wear the St. Patrick flag, but they've got their own bloodline eight-point star to smother over our eight-point star of St. Patrick, that one there. It's not Waka. It's definitely not Waka in a king's eye. A king wouldn't say, go and build me a Waka and sail around the seas and the oceans with the waka and do trade. No, he didn't say that. He didn't say to use a waka to trade and put container ship on containers on the, on your waka and sail them around the ocean to make money. No, it was made for money, that flag. Silly. I, I, I don't know the mentality of this. We should have gone to a mechanic school and, and, and learned some basic ideas and, and, and what, what, what how to interpret things if you want to go in prison and I've been in prison before so I've had my go of it and um, and, and come out alright and so uh, what I did and learnt some more things so it's all about learning and learning and learning so there what's that that's what's that 2 two eighty seven. we're getting close so there's um, the liar the big liar again and <coughs> instrument the, the, the note again on their head and and this will be the third strike for them <coughs> so they're really out so that makes everybody out one fraud equals all the frauds out of one place that gives authority to themselves and so they take everybody down with them there's the 970 you see two bars on see the two bars on you know go past and keep going we, we should be on 19 270 Four, what's that? What's that? Thing? What's that? What's that page? Hang on. Page two nine, two eighty nine. Okay, yes, we can go past that one. We can go past that one. Uh, Twenty four. Okay. Well, we can just keep rolling on, and and I'll just stop you where I think. Because these are oh, these are the Nazi part here. Stop here. Stop right here. So here, go back a little bit. Go back a bit. Trustees, um, I've got to leave this one out because that's to do with Aotearoa in um, Ngāti Whātua in Hillingville, Kaipara. This is a notice to your neighbour brothers and your Ngāti Whātua Rimanga truck board that you are on trial tonight, found guilty as charged as complicit with Jacinda Ardern and Cindy Kiro and your private corporations are all liable and um, not immune from prosecution in this court. And you've got this pound note, this 970 million, million, trillion, trillion pound note on your head with all the big levers in this corporation that's staring at us and we're staring at you. So there, you're on trial because you were fighting with your people against me and Mohi Manukau in Hillingville and tried to shut us down. That's what you did. Now it's our turn to shut you down in your corporate thuggery business. 
with the wrong cassidy you've got a fake hugh cassidy title on on kaipara in auckland and one piece of you've got a, you you stole the whole of the mountain title because we couldn't get our treaty going through and the crest energy the tidal turbine energy project in the kaipara that you and Mary Monica put together and everybody wanted that, not the little pretty little windmill under the water. And, and, and they wanted what we had, and it's all there on, on my site. And one day soon, it will happen. And, and as sure as Mohi and I put together with the Three Nations and their titles, and you haven't got a title like this one. So there, you haven't got any proof. If you want to refute what I'm saying, you've got from now to the 25th, of October before the 28th when you're coming up to Heronsville with all these titles and you're getting on notice tonight you're on notice tonight and you will get these in the email or you already got them in your email after the with the video the two videos and this Facebook video I've got um, and Andy's YouTube videos and lives against you because you're the biggest perpetrator that's led this whole country down the gurgler you and all your trustees and Mohi Manukau's land that he wanted back in Auckland and the Kaipara you went against us with your own contemporary history of your professors and you Kaipara professor against a traditional original Moriori title of Manukau and Utukonga you wiped us out now we're going to wipe you out off the land and no more no more on the 28th when Napui you're you're up there in Napui but then the government put Napui against Napui you see so there that's that's something that you have to face in this court tonight with me I've got my own way of doing court now after all the time going through your courts and your tribunal and all those things to fight with Mohi and didn't get anywhere. Now we've got all the chance in the world with the titles. The British are looking at you and looking at me as Mohi's legacy of his native court titles in Helensville in Awaroa Native Magistrate Court that we're going to have a celebration for Mohi and the Rogan judges and surveyor that put the land titles that got you onto the land in the first place, idiot. So there, that's what I say about you people over there, running a muck with Maori myth of fucka papa back to front horse behind the cart, right? Horse behind, not horse in front, horse in the back of the cart. That's what Mohi Manukau says in the cart before the horse. That's you fellas. Okay, so there, we're going to read this out. Take notice, you are third of rough trustees of Ngāti Whātua, Rūmanga and Neville Brothers. Take notice you are served with default contract notice with your private cooperating partner, Governor General Sin Thea Ashalon Tilo, and Prime Minister Jacinda Janet Lorel Ardern, who failed to respond to our 23 video affidavits and 23 legal document affidavits of administering, administering a world foreign government criminal organization, the WEF World, world Economic Forum, NWO New World Order. EU, European Union, United Nations, UN, threat of using takeover this debt instrument on your head. You're, you're wanting to take over the whole country in a co-government with Maori and Jacinda Ardern, Pākehā. And you're Maori with more Pākehā looking in your face to dupe the people of New Zealand. That's what you did and your trustees in this country duped the whole of, of native born New Zealanders and I'm here for all those people who can't stick up for themselves and fight against you lot of pirates on the high seas that you are using and abusing our flag in your your government business and waving it around all over the place and as if you own the damn thing and you're not going to raise that flag on your whakaputanga in your Maori government crown in Wellington and claim this Manukau Moriori title to Britain 
you say you've got no connection to the British crown system of king to king to king to king in that flag that you don't know nothing about the connections you have no line of history no connections no documents no nothing absolutely zero in your makeup of where you are running rampant with the rest of the corporations in this country that the whole place is the same around the world and this is the guinea pig you're trying to make all the people in New Zealand guinea pigs and use our flag after all this time and, and, and make guinea pigs for the rest of the world so there, one oh, web, you know that? that's your website there, that's people want to go and have a look at you and the photos of you foreign government, criminal organisation and all the rubbish, you share this green cow note check instruments, 917 million trillion trillion, we can cash that, thanks all of you after the 28th of October 2017, in this court one Rangi Maria native rabbits prosecuted guilty by association fined as a ringleader of this historic hijacking of the Manukau Kapu real title Whakapapa and Confederation Chief British native land title flag of King William the Fourth jurisdiction and legal authority of the original Awaro native Francis Craig King's Bench Court Bank Court of 24 Commercial Street Certificate of Title 10 Acre Block First Awaroa Bank of New Zealand to be formed by Moi Manukau for Three Nations 50 years and who was in judge of this Awaroa Native Magistrate Court that was not Maori from 1820 to 1949 myth fake that I carry Mohi Manaka British King William IV flag native land title to that piece of land that's there on that 10 acre block cut up um, um, by this court and, and uh, uh, into smaller blocks than the big block. Two, Alan P. Rack prosecuted guilty, convicted by association fine one trillion. So native rabbits, you get the 970 million trillion on your head for all your trouble against Mohi Manaka and his outright title. Three, George Nathan Pahu pa Patu Awa prosecuted guilty, convicted by association fine a trillion pounds. So there, that's me in the cow note that Jane has put together. Jane has put that. Four, Lillian Patu Awa prosecuted guilty, convicted again, association by association fine a trillion pounds. So it all gives a trillion pound on your head. Five, John Alexander Marlson prosecuted guilty, convicted by association fine one trillion pounds. That's Moai pound, because the British pound is going out of fashion, so it's got no value before now. They're going to shut it down and try and go over to digital, controlled digital currency. So we'll have our own physical pound note carrying on in digital without you interfering with our contract flag and us. <coughs> Six, John Rahu prosecuted guilty, convicted by association, fined one trillion pounds. Pat Napier prosecuted guilty, convicted by association, fined one trillion pounds. Eight, Virginia Warana prosecuted guilty, convicted by association, fined one trillion pounds. I'm real people. Richard Nahu. Prosecuted guilty by association fine one trillion pounds. Deborah Nathan prosecuted guilty convicted by association fine one trillion pounds. Anahira Morihu prosecuted guilty convicted by association fine one trillion pounds. Notice to the agent is notice to the principal trustees of Ngati Paratua Maori Trust Board. Take notice today. Saturday 15th October 2022 that you are forbidden from tampering with our banking scheme for Federation of Native Chiefs King William IV 8 point star contract flag with a black seal of military protection around the small red cross to keep corporate snakes out of our British corporation business we own as native surname chiefs descending and King William IV did not give this flag you call a whakaputama flag 
his wife married, which was not a tribe in 1823 to Joseph Wolf, in indigenous paramount to Kilowatt in Manukau, native land and title to New Zealand country, sale and purchase contract in Aurora Native Magistrate Court Bank in Helenville originally and claimed as executor for Nui Mati Manukau Corporate Business Land Title Successor of the Land Title Information IHI over the years that the E has not received it, so makes the law of this land only law. Trustees and again King Louis the Four eighteen thirty four flag contract with the native chiefs of Nahu and Kororareka in the Okiato Native Magistrate Court with King Louis IV flag founding of New Zealand as a sovereign nation country of its own chiefs and people of the land and nothing to do with Maori that's not found in British title. You are photographed as complicit in the fraud New Zealand government and parliament, foreign government, private corporation, racketeering business for your own financial investment, economic banking, land title, New Zealand Crown Corporation's interests and not the interests of the Confederation of Individual Chiefs and Population of New Zealand Financial Investment Interests. So you are ad aiding and abetting the criminal organisation of this government. All these 187 years you have assisted the New Zealand Navy and government to usurp our Confederation of Chiefs King William IV flag and its King's commercial contract. We cut you off all our British native land titles, now you forge into your white skin Pakeha Hapu tribe to make out you are Maori with the corporate Maori crown and parliament going against the native people of this country. We now sever your ties to the native land and you must read the snapshot that I have posted in the founder 366 page writ warrant native land title deeds and decree affidavit of truth my crown law L O R E and King William IV man's law L A W of Admiralty that this court forces on you today before the 28th of October 2022 you are served this final notice to stop using the fake Maori Whakaputanga flag as your jurisdiction as third party and fourth party Treaty of Waitangi Maori claims to a mere 1% of what you white skinned Whakaia have stolen off the native peoples of these lands. You have no traditional title registered in Britain with a Maori tribe existence is just an illusion, myth, tribe. You invent it to steal the land and we have caught you all out defrauding the sovereign chiefs of their native land and robbed the rest of the native born people of New Zealand and now it's for you to refute what I'm saying in this legal legitimate King's Bench Magistrate Court Bank Federal State Sovereign Republic Flag Corporate Business you are facing in this court hearing on Saturday 15th of October 2022 at 7 p.m. New Zealand time on Zoom ID and passcode here on the divide is inviting you to a federal Zoom meeting topic Confederation of the United Tribes of New Zealand and the world basically not New Zealand that's Maori saying that the Confederation of the United Tribes of New Zealand is not in the native court but Andy put it there as meant to be New Zealand and the world flag jurisdiction um, 24 this is number 24 of native king's bench court hearing time 15th october 2022 9 a.m athens zoom meeting and there's this uh, zoom meeting to get on and the id and the passcode that we always advertise for people coming into the court but you have no say because you have no information up against the court if you have if you get it wrong you get a power note dropped on your head like alfred mitchell got up Power note dropped on his head for changing his mind, saying one thing and then changing his mind and say, Oh no, it's all rubbish. And then now he's left with, uh, with uh, a, 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 a fake queen and, and a Maori chief on his seal on his incorporation. That's a problem. 
So you can't defend yourself on Saturday night from 3pm to suffer the consequences of the native court charge you a million pound note each for your part in the government scam for business. You are complicit in these criminal organisations that are in over 356k written law affidavits in two 23 separate online downloadable colour pages and 23 affidavit videos that have not been refuted become law, became law of contract and contract of our law of this court over you and the New Zealand Crown will drink as Pope Francis said in Smoky Property Letter that you are all you, you all Government General Peter Shaw and Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern are not immune from prosecution in this business based business based magistrate court to find you what the court decides cannot be contested within the ten emperor seals surrounding these documents of the court today and from now on extends for even more like the flag is extends for even more under our confederation of individual deep flag ownership over your Maori Crown State Whakaputama flag is condemned on these native indigenous individual chief native land read and screen prints I have cut out at the back of the book I've seen you of the Pākehā white man professor's own words I've separated from the British Queen Victoria and the King William Paul writings about native indigenous aborigines sovereigns over their lands as proof there was no Maori at the years of 1769, 1825, 1834 and 1835 no Maori land court until 1949 only native land court so you are caught up in this scam message you're shutting down with our king's flag jurisdiction and legal authority you are surrounded by these king's emperor crown seals over the two anchor 24 commercial street land block in Harrisville, Aorua Native Magistrate, King's Bench Bay Court title and Native Court shirt on the Confederation of Chiefs land there, Philip Te Awhetu, with 18 page documents to hold in his hand and read out um, uh, with everybody that comes here. But I'm going to send this to the police and I'm writing to you today as president of the confederation of individual chiefs and public of new zealand to the interest new zealand interest that we are forbid you from claiming the maori whakaputanga flag this is the government i'm talking about with the governor general and the, and the waitangi tribunal and with the governor general cindy Kira and the marae the your marae in in, in uh, harrisville when she visits russell and or Aorua, Harrisville, 24 Commercial Street, Friday, 28th of October, 2020, to try and steal our Confederation of Chiefs King William Paul flag contract land ownership in Harrisville and Russell ownership land sea admiralty flag that legally belongs to the native indigenous Aboriginal chiefs of Dutch New Zealand, as Queen Victoria has stated. In the Waitangi Tribunal statements of 1843, the Waitangi Crown in snapshots are posted and has one million pound note debtor instrument on each of the hills in the court New Zealand Crown flag barracks. So, there, that's that with Jamie there, Patrick, with the Patrick Edward star to her surname, and that's why she's there and fashioned these pound notes with me. And um, she takes her position when she's free and got people to look after her kids that she can go back to work <coughs> and join us at a later stage when things get off the ground she can take her Irish ancestry position with that eight point star with her name Patrick and, and, and on, on it as a connection to Ireland and my connection to Ireland with the Rogan and the Crossgrain to go with it that's why we were going there for to see those people and our families there. So there, I can say that much. Um, Paris is part of that new father and wife. I show the people of New Zealand and the world watching how you defrauded the public of being British native, their land, title deeds, 
think the word Mary or Mary Hatu if you claim the same Bhaktivedanta Dhamma says the same way as you are claiming to this illegal tampering of our 1831 1834 confederation of individual named chiefs sovereigns of their lands as I have screen printed in this native land title claim download book that I registered by courier post today to make sure it got to Jacinda and Cindy Sue the decree writ down in order to cease and desist from claiming our eight point star at the St. Patrick Church Municipal Corporation's contract F flag three King William the third, King George the fourth and King William the fourth where I get my chief corporate legal authority and jurisdiction from to ownership of this confederation of chief flag sovereign nation of New Zealand jurisdiction over your jurisdictions I have clearly explained to the world in 23 videos and 24 tonight as it is of our live body let's move in moving the native magistrate King James Court hearing and 23 24 tonight legal native title documents from Cook that I've got here um, and, and more to come seven of us willing to sign but it's more than a letter um, with um, cheat and um, so that's ready to go to Westminster Parliament and the House of Lords to own up to who we are as natives of the contract with the flag with the flag going that way not the United Nations flag where they stole all the money and everything there and dishing it out as if they own the fucking thing no not really um, and I am just um, Patrick um, my uh, that was um, Magistrate King's Bench Court hearing and 23 legal native title documents and British Crown Law for you and registration of England, Wales, Ireland, Scotland the Freemason Memorial Slam survey instruments in Edinburgh, Scotland and 8 point star money corporation of St. Patrick in Northern Ireland and my Rogan and Cosgrove coat of arms there in Down Patrick a claim to the four corners of the globe on our confederation flag that's what I'm claiming on the flag of New Zealand, Britain, Federal, State, Republic, Government, Partnership so co-government with Britain as our best offspring is Britain, UK against the New Zealand, UN, Foreign, Private, Government, Corporation, New Abhorrent, Abhorrent Name Corps after all linked to the United Nations where you are attempting to take our flag as your Maori Whakaputama flag stolen from the Ngāpuri Hatu when they see with exposed Federal UX to your treason they like robbers of their confederation flag as Maori being done that again after their fraud 1843 with white men began now this confederation of chief flag is a Britain given authority over your United Nations Aotearoa name Dutch New Zealand conflict of interest the public doesn't know this about your uncertainty and vague representation of your own ambiguous writing because that word ambiguous is in the white man's writing making against public interest of what they want and not what you forced on them away from their original title Dutch Emperor's Kings of Britain Great Seal who created this country that got you onto the land in the first place so I'm telling you to stop you shirking our contract flag right now and stay with your own five point star union back three flag and leave our flag alone now we caught you red handed and stop your Governor General Cindy Sewell from wearing our eight point star St. Patrick Protestant Church symbol of wealth money on her chest and hand it back to us now we want you EU trustee off our land and removed from governing our country under your own sovereign government control to take over our flag and country I warn you now to pass the cross for Ruby Maori trustees and Prime Minister enough time and you fail the people and now must pay the consequences of your ignorance of our King William IV commercial contract at Okiato Native Magistrate Court in Court of Rareka in 1831 and 1834 with a small handful of 13 native surname chiefs and King William IV contract sealed in Westminster Parliament extant forevermore cannot be changed of the Dutch founding nation of New Zealand 
as what means the Confederation of Chiefs and Tribes of New Zealand want it kept as Aotea New Zealand until we want to change it, not you and your Maori incorporation corporations who don't have the original native surname British and entitled to New Zealand country, we forbid you from illegally name changing with your corporation foreign government interest, namely WEF World Economic Forum, United Nations World Health, World Health Organization, New World Order, EU, USA, American Takeover, you are connected to as a criminal organization of Pope Francis here in Zorga Moti Kotia, that you and your Crown agents are not in these hearings and prosecutions in our Maori Aurora Native Magistrate Kingston Court of adequate law to use to combat criminal organizations. I accuse you of administering the Zorga government for your own self interest and not the public interest of New Zealand citizens or individual people who are sovereign as of right to decide for themselves what's best for them. And I'm saying here the same thing is what we, the people, decide what's best for us. In my letter to you today, locked you in the defaulting power most threatening term contract to me and the Confederation of Chiefs to be drawn on 28th of October 2020, legal legally Lord Ruler. So there, we're going to use the power note, ask for a date, and put it on them as collateral in this court tonight, and uh, cash it in back to our Moai Crown Premier in Port Trust account, and the um, Nga Atua Ewa Aotea Limited New Zealand Share Company for all the native born people in New Zealand, it goes from Britain into that account and the bank that um, Cecile has uh, set up as the administrator of that business here for you, all the people in New Zealand. I, John Rhino, will be at Kōrerare and Rasabayavanga at the Opiata Native Magistrate Kingston Court hearing on Friday, the 20th of October 2023 with the Admiral Gregory Cook and Staff Sergeant Sino Ramaka in mobile phone contact with you, Philip the Assistant, at our Royal Native Magistrate Court Head of the Native Court Claim Jurisdiction over the Native Land in Helensburg, reading the Confederation of Chiefs Native Land Title Flag Ownership Memorial Title Celebration Honour to Crown Land Chief Nohi Tamaki Manakara the Fourth of Paul Stewart Street, Helensburg, son of Mohi Tamaki Manakara Nikki. Manukau, if you go and see him and tell him to come and land lot with you um, as the native indigenous Crown Land Chief of Rerekura to Manukau and Te Rewaikato Sarahu to Manukau to that land lot as you, as you are the direct bloodline descendant to Tapu the Giant of Waikato, Rerekura to Manukau, Crown Land Chief of Waikato and Auckland Rapuri Ship Nga land lot in Bay of Islands where he was buried where Mohi took me to film him at the grave site near the gate into the Uruka they chopped his name short to Rekha on the stone that the chiefs in Waikato and Rapu are signing the native land driver title deeds to both chiefs with Gregory Cook and Ngāpuru you the first one to sign for the return of New Zealand country title to Crown Land Chief Te Rewaikato Sarahiri in Manukau of his Pumutunga Marae at the base of his battleground on the coast of Wellington Ka site, with the club, with the British Crown in Scotland, Edinburgh Magistrate Court, King George IV, in Glasgow, Scotland, Queen Victoria Native Title Chief of Kororareka, Russell Bay of Islands, with Rekura to Manukau, to confirm Friday, 20th of October 23, 2020, today, Saturday, 20th of October, Opiata Native Magistrate Court, Kororareka, in Awaroa, Native Magistrate Court, 24 Commercial Street, Helensville. I will officiate both court house bank proclamation declaration of British Royal Navy flag and King William IV Confederation of Chiefs Concert flag celebration as in 1834 founding the New Zealand flag jurisdiction. Gregory Cook, Admiral of Colorado to Russell, Opiata Native Magistrate Court bank checking the Native Confederation of Chiefs King William IV flag pole 
acres of both taxable space in the section, and you can have 10 acre acres and cover cutting into big block cutting of big blocks into smaller 3,000 square meter area there about three whole land six acres of the building new Auckland city from these four acres of land for cover to suburban areas through the green bed bank mortgages and running rent can transfer from our door second of July 2017 my video of the land block had no conference pay for the confederation of chiefs and then so pay for the prepare by summons who was intending to steal our native magistrate court bank title flag ownership of the confederation of chiefs Indian or flag and authority jurisdiction over New Zealand so those are those three ones and um, that's all I need to say about that block there's enough said now so we can roll on and look at the photos of Mohi and his whakapapa next to his head on the left there. When you blow it up, you sh that's his title. That's his whakapapa in the Mason, um, Freemason um, land transfer titles um, to all that area and, um, um, and um, um, title native land titles claim that we're using in this court tonight on that block as our celebration to him on the 28th of October 2022 on 24 uh, Commercial Street in Helensville, the Awaro Native Magistrate Court site uh, where the flag was flying and I was there at the same time as working with Karaka and Glen Fane and the Hare Uti Tonga and um, Tahike um, that guy Tahike from Dargaville and um, um, and nobody else I can think of at the moment so so there um, and there's there's the confederation on the right hand photo on that land block where that little thing in the middle where the flagpole goes is they're going to plant the, the flagpole straight in the ground and not on that concrete pad and and um, so I, I left the authority I've got a letter here authorizing uh, Philip Tiafuku to take my place there um, with Ricky Manukau if he wants to come well but uh, he takes he succeeds his dad's title to the land and um, all the Freemason stuff and all of that the financial stuff I take care of that on his father's behalf and on his family's behalf as well as my own Wano family both families the Wano and Manukau to the British title over all that Ngāti Whātua Iwi Plus D. So there, that's, that's, we've put our hand out, we've put our title and all our information in front of you, but we'll never see any information of yours to this depth. You can never pull out the information and say where you got your authority from because it's come out of this court and you won't talk about it. There's Mohi on the right hand side of that photo there and all the confederation members back in uh, 1985 and before the 1986 constitution they were fighting up against that and there's the carving on the right hand side there of uh, Mohi and the, and the Whakamininga of the native magistrate courts parliament and not a Maori parliament Whakamininga I can tell you that much because that word Maori belongs to the Crown Corporation in Wellington and not Britain. That's their own homemade title. The Whakamininga that they're flying the flag is corrupt and and and, and illegal. So there, that's Crown Knights dropped on their heads for doing that. And there's the flag on the right hand side of the flag mast, the British flag mast in Waitangi and um, also the flag mast at um, uh, Kōrewareka on Ngāti Hui that we're celebrating this special day of that flag's origins of its founding of New Zealand in the first place before it got founded suddenly by Maori in 1840 again a second time and for you to believe which one is true and which one is false so there I leave that with you people up north and to sort out who you're going to believe and where's the where, where's the instrument 
Wait, wait, wait until he left is again. What you can put in front of you right now. I want to see it. And if I don't, it means it has nothing to put up against all this lot I'm saying as title, native title to New Zealand. Roll on, Andy. Roll, roll on somewhere. So we, we come here. I'll read this bit out. I, John, um, oh, hang on, President of the Confederation of Chiefs. Let's roll back up a little. The President of the Confederation of Chiefs and Soldier King Leopold, John Onikahakiwama, Executor for Muhi Tamakamantau, Traditional History, Indigenous Native Moriori. John Mano, Dear Court, Hamilton. I won't do my address because I don't want anybody piling down and annoying me. Um, Gregory Cook. Admiral Paihia Bay of Islands, Tanya Ramata, Star Clarkson, Whanawena. So that is our context. There's the phone's there for anybody to ring me, and the government or anybody that wants to talk to me, if, if you've got something to say, then it's better to say it. And, and better also to come in court and say something. Then I can prepare for you of what you're coming into and what the court is all about. See, so I, John Hoani, John Wano, President of the Confederation of Chiefs, appointed Philip Te Afiti of Waikato District to act as the Awaroa Native Magistrate Court Sheriff in command of the King William IV Confederation contract flag ceremony with the founding president, Paramount Chief Mohi Tamakamata IV of 12 Stewart Street, Helmsley, BC, and before his death appointed me as his corporate business successor being executor of his whakapapa and native title recovery back into the custody of the Confederation of Chiefs and Native Sovereign People of New Zealand. Complete equally, and I make these documents for Philip the Afiti to act on the, my behalf to link the mobile phone to Kororareka Russell with me and Gregory Cook to read out the proclamation and declaration claim title to the Auro Native Magistrate King Street Court public announcement to claim the native title land title ownership of New Zealand country with Philip the Afiti of the Confederation of Chiefs, Native Chiefs of New Zealand, made law 20th of October 2022. Gregory reads is this proclamation to both Native Magistrate Courts enactments. So there, that's a sheriff's job to go and enact the court hearings because I'm a judge and prosecutor to give instruction to the sheriff to go and do the court's job of recovery of land to the get coaches and, um, and uh, private investigators because they are licensed to go into properties and all of that which we don't have at this stage at this stage and eventually we will Philip the Afriti and Philip Newton in Hamilton signing of New Zealand native land title claim under the legal authority of the Confederation of Chiefs Juliana Te Afiti Blair Ingram I will place an advertisement in the Northern Advocate newspaper Monday of the con celebration of the Confederation of Chiefs flagpole ground where Mohi Manato and Rutunu Karaka go from a bit more just roll past there they are in the photo. Philip Ab Te Afiti, Sheriff at 24 Commercial Street, Awaro Native Court Flag for Mohi Manatao Court, Gregory Cook Admiral of Mighty Hill and Kororareka Star Sergeant Tani Ramaka. 20th of October 2022 will communicate with each other to mark this British Crown Confederation contract business legacy of Mohi Tamaki Manta and his Freemasons who put this original Awaroa Native Magistrate Court Bank Whakapapa Native Land Survey title mortgage lien instruments for the Awaroa Bank of New Zealand start cutting up the 10 acre drop here from here from the big area drop of their Mohi Tongu to record up in roughly 6 Maori land block in Rafferty Township to Kaipara to Auckland Waikato Wanganui of the Apaiti are recorded that Mohi Manata secret of Freemasons are published since 2008 links to both native courts 
no one has cremation titles. So there you are. There's the, the marking of where it is on the Google map. 12 and 12, 24, commercial free home bill. And there at doing the real stats of it and the flag ownership that's going into that land block under us can make it. And there's Gregory Cook there on the left with the flag of Mikey Hill in the background behind him on this miserable day when he was up there and it was flying unusual to be flying at half mast so he's told the story about that he's come here and did a video it's that you can see just a bit back a bit of his observation of the land block as being there it's there and real for his eyes to see as as his connection and 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 justification there's such a thing as the Aurora Native Nation State Court site and there's uh, Philip the African with his document up the top there looking at the facts and where we should go and honour Mohi Manukau and his son Ricky Manukau and his family um, for us completing the job that Mohi Manukau set me up to do all these years since 1985 that's when before 1986 constitution of the government of New Zealand so to the right there you see Mikey Hill so the two land areas of the flag flying um, was flying here to this one the first contact contact of the British flag was put up here before Waitangi one year earlier but it was certified as as a contact on 1831 letter that was accepted by King William IV as a deal to do a deal with the chiefs and choose a flag um, that they want as their contact with King William IV and his crown locked over and above Queen Victoria title contact see so it goes past all that Queen stuff and go straight into that flag, stuck, expand and Westminster forever more. No one can touch it. No one can touch it except us. So there, there's our partner there to the right. Um, Admiral of the fleet, of all the fleet of Navy in the world. And he's our, our legitimate mortgage leaning bank admiral of the sea onto the dry land. On the left there is the dry land of his flag and his mask with his British immigrants here living on that land with uh, Staff Sergeant um, Tanya Ramata saluting uh, to um, Ma Michael Boyce in our honour our honour us in our flag that he's, he's obligated to that flag and the native chiefs that it was given to not that it was given to the native chiefs in that first application of that king saying the Tawaiti king then saying the land belongs to the king and now we're saying on the 27th the land belongs to the native people of New Zealand and that will end all that lot and put it back where it was under common law of king's law there and we can do what we like with commercial stuff after that as the people think fit whether they want to carry on with a true king in a Tadasu or go with a, a with a fake Charlie and and a picture of a of a of a, a queen and they've got no seal other than a, a, a queen that's gone and a married chief. That's that's their image in their head. That's their illusion in their head in Parliament. They're swearing to nothing. They swear into 30 years. They had acts they put from the king's law and they had a constitution that was come from, from an 18, um, 1852 constitution that was given for us and they changed the flipping thing to suit themselves with their legislation. So we use our legislation to dumb it down and get it out of the road of the flag contact. So there, we carry on. I'll, no more reading. I don't want to do any more reading. And this is this is this is the title of the news, and so we can we can see 
Én ezt még azt, én, én ezt még azt is a szesztéri egyszer szálltak, van egy borona, van egy vagy, én, én kívül mi hossz angolik borona, hogy ez szokni szekén, én, én honi hika, én vajtere, tényleg vajtere, hogy on the left hand side, mi borona már tudni back, hogy de szokni is egy good white back then, egy tizen, egy tél ebbe, tizen, whatever. I think it's together with Mary Martin and Gordy back up in 2017, somewhere way back in 2000 or so. Uh, some of them. So this proclamation we've, we've already gone past this lot and that's coming up to the end soon, hopefully. And we'll go past here, we'll go past and the ramp, what's this one? There's all our, our kings on the right and there's me with, with um, our partner and King George and um, um, oh, this is, this is, this is, we've been through this one since, and we started this case for Marika, uh, Mar uh, Marika, and uh, so that's them caught up in this court tonight, convicted and charged, a trillion pound each, so that's, we, 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 we must be removing them, thank goodness, and I hope that we can help Marika and her getting off all her court cases in one shot after the 28th of October we, we unopposed and no no no, no rebuttal and, and all the titles and everything stacked up against the, the government it should be enough there's more than enough to oh man holy cat oh golly holy mercy I jumped straight over the top of me my concentration yeah so there we're, 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 we're coming to the end now and I'm, I'm thankful that we've, we're, 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 we're hopefully satisfied there's the signatures for the people I won't read it out because I read it out before but it's the North tribe and the Waikato tribe in this contract to sign these documents to claim the native title to this country one shot on that day absolute and close your eyes and sign it and be done with it and then you can do what you like after that you can be a Maori or anything else after that I don't care but just do it because there's no time for guesses there's no time for researching anything there's no time left for having who's and who's and more who's and who's this is the hui of all who's finished no more I had enough I want a rest. I want a rest and take the loan and give it all back to the right people to lead this country and not lunatics in Wellington anymore. So there, I think I've gone to the end of it. Yep, we have reached the end. Thank goodness. And uh, I can now announce that uh, that is the end of the court hearing tonight, Andrew. Okay, so we can now Just switch your thing off, Andy. Just uh, Andy. I'll, I'll the recording has stopped. Okay. Well, maybe can you say something about the Tennis decisions? Is that to change the government jurisdiction? Is that you have two steps? First step is to change the law, and the next step is to change the administration. Right? And so, but in change of law, we find out the key problem of the whole world in trouble is the money. The fiat money. Yeah, while he's still frozen, I just say the the fiat money they're getting rid of it and they're gonna bring their control yeah. digital currency. Thank you.
It's too much for me. It's too much for me. I'm on a pathway. I'm on a war path. I'm on a war path with the pound note that was given to us. That's real money in your hand. That's ours. That's collateral. People are collateral and we turn them into cash. We stay with the British original money, not fiat money. We got a real pound note. They're going to get rid of it, Ted. They're going to get rid of that, all that. They've got a digital control money coming out soon, this month or next month, and there will be nobody can do anything about it. They can't do anything about it. They'll take the whole place over. They don't care. They don't care what you think and what I think. They're just going ahead. They got our flag now. They want the title. They, they'll take this place out and we'll have nothing. That's what they want. You got that to worry about then worrying about money doing this and that because they got their own money system control everybody in the world. So you're up against that. If you've got an idea to clobber them, to get them out of business, that's your problem. You've got a problem trying to get them out of business on your own. Yeah, but that won't work, Tim. You can say what you like, but they don't care about what you say. They will go ahead without you and me. They don't care what you say or what I say. Unless you've got something to knock them. What have you got to knock them out with? What have you got to knock them out with? The whole lot of them. What have you got? It's no use talking. It's not you talking about, about this and that about fiat money. It's all gone. They, they're finished with that. That's, that's out of gone. Finished. They've got another money system where you are controlled and when they take over, when Jacinda takes this flag with Biden and they're using this flag because nobody's watching what I'm doing with it and doing all the instruments. They picked up all the instruments and took off with it to the United Nations and they're using this flag to take the whole world out. That's it. So you've got that problem. You've got that problem to worry about and their control of money, no matter what you or I say. You see? They are taking over the world. And what are you going to do? How, what, what solution have you got to stop them? It's talking about money is not going to stop them. What you say about a feared money is not going to stop them. I don't have to understand anything. All I say is who's got control of the land? You've got control of the land? If you haven't got control of the land, you've got nothing. That's it. That's it. Forget about talking about money and fiat money. Anymore. Forget about it, Tim. It's not going to work. Forget it. I just don't like hearing it. I don't like hearing talking about money and what you should do with money. I'm not listening. I don't care about mathematics. I care about the land and what's happening. I don't. You, mathematics is not going to fix it up. Mathematics is not going to fix this problem up, Tim. It's not going to fix the problem. Talking about maths, it's not going to fix it. They got bullets flying all over the place. How are you going to stop the bullets? How are you going to stop the bullets? Eh? That's the problem you got. It can wait. It can wait. It can wait. That's parked up. The land is the one to talk about. It's a waste of time, Ted. It's a waste of time trying to get another government to take over this government. It's a waste of time because they're not going to listen because they, they've got superheads. 
They can't talk about maths and all of this, what you're talking about. They just talk gun talk and this flag of war. It's a war zone. There's a war zone. You don't talk about what you're talking about until you fix the war zone. That's what this flag is. It's a war flag for, for war, ca causing war. So you've got the war problem, not, not what you're talking about, money problem. It's a war problem. No trade. Don't worry about the trade. Don't worry about trade. You can't. You, you get. You get. You, you get the land right first, Tim. You get the flipping land right first. Start from the land, not the money. Start from the land. Whose land? Whose flag? Whose title? Whose authority? And who is running the country? Yeah. Don't worry about the money. Don't worry about the money. That's immaterial. You've got the facts wrong around the wrong way. You've got everything round upside down. I'm telling you straight. Don't talk about money. Your talk is for another day, not not in this court. We've got, we've got war on our hands. We've got land. Who's land? Protect the land. Don't talk about money. Whose jurisdiction, Tim? Whose jurisdiction are you talking about? Whose jurisdiction are you talking about? Come on. Whose jurisdiction are you talking about? Which one? Which one? Which which jurisdiction are you talking about that's going to fix this country up? Come on. Which jurisdiction is going to fix this flipping country up and the land? Which one? China? Where? Where? You, you're going all over the place. I want the land first. You're going all over the place. It confuses people. You're talking confusion. Talk land first. Whose land? Where's your title? Where is your title, Tim? Where's your title? Get that straight. Get, get, that, get that up here. Get that up here first before you talk money. That's your father in China, in, in, in Hong Kong. That's not here. We talk about here, not somewhere else. We're talking here. Don't talk about anything else and bring it. That's there. That's over there. You leave your stuff over there in Hong Kong. Don't bring it over here. Don't bring it in this court from Hong Kong over here. We don't want it. That's not our jurisdiction. We've got our own jurisdiction in this flag. You should be talking about flag jurisdiction. Nothing else. Nothing else can here because you waste people's time. I've heard it all before. I've heard it all before. I don't like wasting time, Tim. I don't like wasting time, Tim. He's dead. He's dead. Don't mix your land titles here, Tim. Don't mix Hong Kong's titles here. Don't mix those titles here under this flag. You should be talking about the flag and this, the land here, not over there. We don't want to talk about Hong Kong. We don't need to talk about Hong Kong. We're talking about New Zealand and the threat of takeover of the United Nations of this flipping land, Tim. This land that you're on is going to get taken over. The, we got a threat here, Tim, on this land, not your Hong Kong land. You're talking nonsense. You're talking nonsense. Nonsense. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time. It's just wasting time, Tim, because we're, 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 we're in a war zone. We're, we're ready to be taken over by the World Economic Forum, and they don't care what I say and don't care what you say. It's not about money or anything you're talking about. It's about the land and the flag. That's it. Don't talk about anything else but the land and the flag.
first. Don't bring anything else into it. Because Nafu is not bothered about anything else but their land. And everybody else is worried about the land. That's what I say, Andy, because I, get, I heard it all before. I don't like hearing all this coming up and, and, and people get off the track of what we come into a court hearing for to fix a problem here, not somewhere else. That's why I get annoyed. I get really annoyed with people that 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 flying the flag. He's flying the flag for a long time. He should be talking about the flag and Derek Rupa. They they only fly when it suits them, not not for the real reason. He should be supporting their flag like how he's been talking about it for a long, long time. Now he brings the brings Hong Kong into it, into the court, wants to put me put it across and spoil our court hearings that are bigger issues going on with this flag than he's got in Hong Kong. This flag is more important to the whole world than what he's talking about in Hong Kong. That's why I'm pissed off with it. Talking a lot of, about money and all that's gone. It's, it's gone. It's, 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 it's history. Finished. The fiat's gone. It's, they're getting rid of it. They've got everything out of it. Now they're going to bring something else. War power for it. That's what we're up against. We're up, we're up against the control currency that he got no control over and I've got no control over until we do something about it. And he hasn't got a solution to fix this problem up that Ngā Pui up there with the flag is facing. They want real decisions coming from somewhere and not from Hong Kong, for goodness sake. That's, that's, that's so we're, we're on the same page. We mean business and we're serious. We're serious. We've got, we've got our country at stake. We're about losing it. We're about to lose it. Use this flag or lose it. That's my, that's my saying tonight in this court. Use the flipping thing or lose it. Mm -hmm. We're going to sign off for tonight. Thank you, everybody, for joining in. Um, there'll be a few more updates this week, John, as far as building up to the 28th. So those that are involved in contact for tuning in, and um, we'll catch up soon. Okay, cool. Thanks for being here, Marika, and, and hanging out right to the court hearing. That's good of you, and we hope we can help you um, after this, um, after all we've gone through, and um, and um, we'll, we'll get some results pretty soon if uh, the people up north think that's a good idea. So that's all. We'll leave you up the lap of gods to, uh, to uh, get behind what we're doing is, is the right thing to do. So there, Kate and um, Tanya is there. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, we do our best for you, Marika. And, and, and good luck. Okay. Good luck to you and, uh, until, until the next round. And keep in touch with the, with the court to see progress. We want, we want some progress um, on the 28th to uh, enforce everything we've been doing to make your case um, a monumental one for everybody in the world. If we if we uh, succeed, which I I, I, I can see we, we will, with what uh, we're doing correctly, and sticking to the law, and making sure that uh, everybody sooner or later can understand what this court is all about, the people of the country, not just one or two here and there. Yeah, so that's what I put you up first up, because it's important with children. <coughs> um, losing um, families like that and I sympathise with you as much as I sympathise with my daughter and my mokotuna gone through trauma and uh, never seen them again so that I feel like how you are why I'm passionate 
and they are um, told that they split from the family and given to somebody else and uh, brought up a different way. So there, there, that's all I had to say for that. Um, so thank you, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, everybody, for coming in. And the same as well, to get the information out there for a long time myself as well. And so we're all these bloody channels at the moment that they don't see the page out there. And so I have to do exactly what they're doing, exactly how they're doing it. And uh, the big money off it, they get big money off it. They get, your, your, your service probably is not a rare one. It's uh, a very common one. Not just in the, in the United Kingdom, but in Europe. And also in New Zealand. It's a system. Okay, Blair. Yeah. We can catch up with you tomorrow. Yeah, Blair. Yeah. What, what, what are you going to do tomorrow? Oh, just same or usual. I've got, I've got, I've got plenty of things I can do, but I'll spend a bit of time with with the cat. I'll, I'll find something to do. Okay. Hmm. No, 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 not, not, not yet. No, no, I won't, I won't, I won't send a hard okay. copy. I won't send a hard copy. Eh? Hey? Oh, I might get a copy. Yeah, I, yeah. I might get a copy for for neighbor Gladys on Monday. I might, I might, I might, I might do that yet tomorrow. We'll see. I think they they need a hard copy like like yeah. like Kororareka because that's an important tribe the Ngāti yeah. Whātua. So we might get that printed. So, yeah. we, we'll get this one printed, the one we just did now, and put the videos in it. Yeah. And get that one, that, that one gone. So. Yeah. Yeah. And serve them. And I'll send, okay. the, I'll send the email ones to the police there in Helensville and the council. I'll send them um, 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 uh, email ones to them. But the hard copy to Neda Gladys. I'm on a war path with her, a long term war path. Can you give me a call and get the paper? Yeah, okay. Yep, we'll do that. Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry, Ken, Tim, Tim Chan, you're still there. Sorry, mate, but I had to do that um, because I'm on a war path. I, it's in my blood. It's boiling, really boiling. So, apologize, Tim. Apologize to you, Tim. Okay. Okay. Okay, Andy. Thanks very much. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Bye for Thank now. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, John. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good job, Andy. Good job. Thank you, Andy. Bye. That's it. I'll turn that around and just finish off on this one live on Facebook. So there, that, there's the cage with Andy. Good night. And it's late now. It's um, what's the time? 24 minutes past midnight. Wow. I, I, I had an idea it was going to take a long time because of five cases in one. 
a night. It's, it's a long time, so it's expected to take long from seven, seven o'clock. That's five hours and twenty-four minutes. That's a, that's a that's a full-on court case to be talking all that time, and uh, through um, uh, two three hundred and seventeen pages of um, of legal stuff. That's um, quite a quite a effort. Um, because we've got court hearings way ahead till the 28th and I've, I've, I've needed to clear some space um, so that we can get as much as we can information to especially to Ngāpuri people to understand what we're doing as serious business it's very serious and not to be sneered at or, 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 or to uh, write off um, but um, certainly real um, happenings um, and, and uh, threats against us, the British um, government hijacking the flag, and um, and uh, been doing that for years. They've been doing this for years, people, and they got away with it just about got away with it until now. And I hope that Ngāpuri will do something about it and stop them getting the track on the 28th and help um, to go down to Awarua in Hollingford with um, Te Awhiti, um, uh, Philip Te Awhiti and his um, tapu are going there um, to put the flag up and as a right, as, as an inherent right to that native core connected to me. I can't be there. Because I've already committed myself to go to Kororareka, the first flag to go up and, um, and um, stand there with Gregory and the people of Ngāpui. I'm, I'm obligated to Ngāpui with everything I write about is their, their um, right to that flag and what happens to it. So I'm telling Ngāpui this government here has hijacked the damn thing for their whakaputanga and their, their government right to use it because they're Maori. So it's best to be not a Maori on the 28th of October and to be a native. And um, that will start the process off as returning what was stolen in one piece back because they only borrowed it for their documents down in Wellington. They put it back where it was when it was going right with the king. Okay? The King William gave it, the flag, to the natives for their land to protect them from snakes. And we've got a whole bunch of them in Wellington as lunatic snakes running our country and our government ownership. It's their business and not a government as such. So there, that's the problem. We want our own government with our own flag in our own way of living and not for someone else to tell us how to live and what to eat and what to buy. See? So there, that's serious. That's serious. And I'm saying this is a one-stop shop to clobber the whole lot in one shot, like David and Goliath. Bang! Whole lot. You've got everything. You've got a flag. You've got instruments. You've got memorials. All the things you need for a native title to seize the whole native title back to where it started from in Okiata. You see? So there. I can't be in two places at once. So I'm hoping that um, uh, Philip Tiafiti will rig up the mobile phone to a little sound system, just have to be a stereo or something, loud enough for everybody standing around to hear when we talk, when Gregory does his talk in the native court, or especially the proclamations. We'll be filming Mikey Hill at 5 o'clock in the morning, but that's not going to be um, um, live streaming to uh, um, Awaroa Native Court. Only, only, only 
when we start the court hearings after that, soon after that. Um, and it won't be the too late with Gregory to start the native court up so that you can put our jurisdiction in place on both courts and banks thereof. That the bank to liquidate any criminal's assets into our bank, in that court, our bank court. So there, that was a long time, five hours or so, but well worth it, it's well worth it because it took a lot. You can see all the paperwork here, where the cat is sleeping, over there. Here's all the paperwork that I wrote on the notes, all the paper on the cat, who's, who's uh, my secretary, that's uh, waiting for me to go to bed so he can push me off to bed. See, so I've got a pair of companions to keep me busy in my work. I, I have a passion to do what I do. So it's not as though I don't like doing what I do. I like investigating and, and putting up every problem that is in the way. And unfortunately, Tim was going to change the mindset of people from the real problem, the land. Not the money, not Hong Kong, but the land is at stake here. And the flag is at stake here. And everything else that goes with it, that uh, this government wants to take over the whole lot and have nothing, you have nothing. He didn't think like that. He's not, he's not thinking of survival. No mind about the money, we've got the money already. Why he can't see that is, 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 is a problem of not looking at what we were given, a pound note, a flag. See, we were given a pound note and a flag and we're going to use it. No matter how old the pound note is, it's not going out of business. It's better than digital currency control to have your own digital currency pound note. See, we have that right. We have that right. We have all those instruments right in our hands to use, you might see. I'm here for you. I'm here for everybody. And we lead the world, not marry New Zealand. The native people of New Zealand leads the world with my feet. See? And your flag. Yeah. So that's all I can say. That side of the flag, which has been hidden from you, and you're not supposed to know this, but too bad, I told everybody. Too bad. So there. That's all I need to say for now, because I'm going to have a rest and get the book off to Native Luggage pronto tomorrow with Blair. Good for Blair, because he helps me and keeps me intact and my health intact and also supports me. I can ring any time and I get it. I don't like not getting somebody when I ring them up and too difficult to run a business like that. You need to be in contact all the time in a business this magnitude. And you're heading off the big shots with your flag. You're going to head them all off with your flag, that's the ticket. Like, like David said to you, the key is the key to everything, including the dog. That's the key that he's saying that I'm holding the key. He's right. He's right, people. I've never, ever heard someone say that until now. Something that's correct. Not that I'm boasting about it, but I'm saying that at least someone knows what we're doing here. It's correct. Don't say anything, he said. Don't say anything. He's doing good. That's it. That's all I need to hear. That's all I need to hear from an American who watches my talks. They're all watching my talks. But the snakes have moved in already. The snakes are wiggling all over that flag. And more snakes are coming in to try and use it 
and its power, but they can't explain it. They can't borrow what I'm saying about the flag and expect to link the whole lot to Britain because none of them have a connection to Ireland with the acorn star on the flag there from. You see, we've got those people over there, Frank McElroy on England, looking after that end of the world. See, in Ireland. And Rebecca Ireland, I, 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 I haven't heard from her for a long time, but however, we still think of her um, in what we're hearing. And she's been supporting that flag for a long time. But hopefully soon it will work for her in the course over here, over there, and, and uh, get things going because Frank McElhern has got his eye on what we're doing here and he's ready to do business with us as soon as we get Cook Street sorted out and this government on the rocks with no room to move with all these laws on top of their head and better looking documents that the lawyers can't face either. See? So, no more silent king anymore. He's out in the open talking instead of being silent and go in their court. So that's all I want to say. I think I've covered off now. And thank you for watching. I just had to put these windows out of the way. They keep popping up and blocking the whole thing off. So I'm glad this... Um, video is still going on the Kate Baker's laptop. It's pretty good. But my computer is flying, Bill. It's flying like a bat out of hell. It just flips all over the place. And James Parker did a real good job of beefing it up and making it vast, beautiful. Yeah, so good night to him and you, Bill. You're making my computer fly like a jet. Okay, okay, that's all I'll say. Uh, so, it's now, what's this time? I can't see. Half past 12 midnight, so 36 minutes past midnight. So that's it. I'll say good night for now, and see you again on the next round, next Wednesday or Saturday. Bye for now. I'll make sure I end the video.